what is up guys politics gaming here and today we are finally going to showcase superpower 3 this is the <laughs> no, i i have any oh, let me, uh, i can't yeah i i screw that i screw that whole interaction up with with, with one of my audios on um <laughs> what is up guys politics gaming here and today we are going to be showcasing superpower 3 i haven't even started this stream and we had 200 people watching it and it just cracked all the way down to 106 i don't know where everyone went so uh we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, i want to go ahead and say something i want to thank uh, thq nordic and golem labs are for giving me the opportunity i've been covering superpower 3 and its development for several years now ever since the uh the website well at least i've been looking into it since uh i started playing superpower 2 back in 2012 that was 10 years ago back about 10 years ago i discovered superpower 2 and it really got me into the realm of geopolitical games and if you actually go all the way back to the earliest days of my youtube channel um, I used to have a bunch of other videos that I that I had um, before, um, but I, for some reason I deleted them. Anyway, um, some of the videos that I still have up are Super Power 2 videos, a couple multiplayer games, um, everything like that. Um, and so today we're going to be previewing Super Power 3 for the first time. So if you guys are watching, guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, I'm going to be making a lot of superpower content as it um as it develops if there's any updates that come out for it i will be uh what i will be paying attention to it um and and yeah so uh without further ado i'm not gonna i'm not gonna screw around i'm not even gonna make you guys wait it is 10 uh central standard time the content embargo in the content embargo um has ended and I am officially allowed to preview Superpower 3. Um, I actually got a uh, message from the creator of uh, the lead developer, uh, Jean-René Couture, of Superpower 3. He said, um, he asked me if I was nervous. And yeah, I'm a little nervous. I got 200 people watching. This is overall the biggest live stream I have ever had. Um, and he said... Um, he actually just finished, uh, yesterday, 109 pages of a manual that would be, pu uh, published online. Um, this will compensate for the difficulty in explaining the game within the game, so you can leak this information. Leak! The guy's first leak on this channel. Um, the modding doc will e be even bigger, probably, because of the nature of the beast. And... Just like uh, uh, if you guys watched my video yesterday, um, essentially every aspect of this game is allowed to be modded. So it is probably going to be one of the most moddable games um, that I believe Golem Labs have, uh, has ever made, at least. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play Super Power 3. And let's get into it. Make sure everything works. And of course, this is it.
Uh, God, I am screwing this live stream up so much. Can you guys hear the audio? Hang on. I think I know what the issue is. There. You guys should be able to hear it now. Let me go ahead and restart that. That way you guys can see the intro. You guys should be able to hear it now. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, here's the answer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Because we've all had to wait to be finally heard. There are millions of us out there joining our cause, and it is together bound by this cherished heritage that we will show them who we are. We've only just begun. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I always, every, every time I have a big stream I always screw something up I always screw something up um all right so 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 this is the main menu this is the main menu and I just want to get something out of the way I'm pretty sure this is going to be a controversial game some people are gonna say maybe it was released too early um, some people are gonna say that they they expected more out of this so it's it, 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 it kind of picks and chooses from what I've played. Um, they they sent me the code about about a week ago, um, and and so I've been playing it and trying it out since they sent me. It was their PR guy, and essentially, it was um, I. I, I I like it. I, I mean, I do like it. I'm pretty sure they're about to release a brand new update um, coming out when when in well, I think it's like tomorrow or maybe today or something like that. Um, and it, it's really stupid because when they sent us the code, there were, there was a content embargo. That's why I couldn't stream it until now. And so essentially, there was a Indonesian guy that. I make there are so many messages that are getting commented right now that that it is lagging my it is lagging myself um here I have an idea but but it was funny because there was a there's a content embargo on it. Whenever uh, there's a content embargo, essentially you cannot like whatsoever. You cannot whatsoever um, do that, or else basically you're gonna get blacklisted. And so this Indonesian guy about 14 hours ago, uh, pl like posted a video of it, and I'm pretty sure it's because he did not understand. The concept uh, or not the concept i'm pretty sure he didn't understand um and that's what a lot of people are thinking about is that he didn't understand what the time zones were so he saw he saw that i was streaming at october 6 probably maybe he saw it because of me or because of uh because of the content of our he saw it's uh, uh october 6th but he didn't see that it was by 1700 austria time so he violated the content embargo about 14 hours ago and just and it was it was just really funny so anyway in response to that in response to that i'm gonna i'm gonna go through this uh, scenario selection you have 15 scenarios including your sandbox mode so sandbox it's the regular sandbox mode rule the world um do whatever you want kind of thing first one we have is the USA and North Korea and then so whenever you have these um, whenever you pick a country in these scenarios you have the USA and North Korea for example 
It gives you a description, so it says North Korea seemingly seeming to be a nuclear threat. Will the players be able to resolve their conflict peacefully and preserve Asia, pr preserve stability in Asia, or will the war break? And then so you have your success conditions and your failure conditions, kind of like Superpower 2 have. However, they're a lot more intuitive in this one than they are in, <clears throat> in uh, uh, Superpower 2. So like success, you have improved relations with North Korea to 65%, maintain mutual defense treaty with South Korea, maintain political stability of 70%, maintain political approval of 70%, send 25 attack fighter, uh, attack aircrafts to South Korea in one single treaty, and send 400 tanks to South Korea in one single treaty. And then so it goes like this throughout the entire thing. And I'll go through the features and everything because it does show you a bunch of the features um, in here, but I'll go ahead and go through all of that. Um, let me see if this works. Okay, so trying to make sure that my, uh, because like my chat was lagging because you guys are so excited for this. So the scenarios we have is USA and North Korea, the Hades crisis. Um, Venezuela's presidential crisis, the Pan-Arabist Union, the New Tsar, which is rebuilding the Soviet Union, uh, the British dictatorship, the nuclear Iran, Mali Empire, the Crimea's crisis, One Belt, One Road, Taiwan invasion, World War III, and Islamic Turkey. closing a lot of things right now um <clears throat> and then the last one that we have is burma's dictatorship so we're gonna do this and then bef and then we're gonna get into the gameplay in just a second just kind of moving things around right now the way everything's kind of Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go sandbox mode, and I want to show you guys the first thing that we're going to show off today. First thing we're going to show off today, I'm pretty sure you guys are uh, are, are going to know exactly what we're going to show off. This is the character creator. So the character creator, you can make your, make your character here. You can name them. So this is, I'm pretty sure a lot of this was made for multiplayer because all of us, you know, we love our... Uh, multiplayer ah we love our multiplayer we love our role play games tomorrow is just going to be full of role play games is what we're going to be doing tomorrow and so we have our name you have your language and your religion so in your religion in your language this is obviously what language your character speaks and then your religion is what they practice so to make it better for the united states we're going to go protestant Audio cuts out as he exits out of the game. Yeah, that's that's because of OBS. Um, some of my games do that whenever I do that. Um, so what is the point of the character creator? Again, so if you look at this map right here, this shows you exactly where your character is best fit. So this is where it comes into terms of what your demography is. So the better, the better this is attuned to the demography of that country, the more, the better amount of time you're gonna have gaining more approval um, and probably even invading other countries. So, like this, you're 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 playing as some Anglo guy. So, this was already seen in Indian. I, I haven't watched the Indonesian guy's video, so I'm basically pretending um, that that doesn't exist. And then plus, he was speaking Indonesian the entire time. So, um, and. There are going to be thousands of people watching this video that have never even heard of or even seen this game before. So I'm giving a full introduction here. I will have my own dedicated introduction as well. So do look forward to that. Um, so anyway, so you have um, all of these traits that you can make right here. And again, it affects what country, again, you're going to have a better time playing as. So you have your Aborigines, Southeast Africans, Melanesians, uh, Mediterraneans, European complex, etc. 
and then the character tools that you can mess around with is your ethnicity your physiology your skin your eyes your hair your facial hair and your clothing so usually if i'm playing like a western country maybe the united states for example i like to put them in a suit and tie maybe a hat yeah let's go a uh, cowboy hat very very good american hat um And then you have your introduction right here. Welcome to the character creator. In this window, you have to select and create your own character. The character is more than just your avatar, it's simply visual representation for the other players. The choices you make while creating your character might have an effect on your gameplay experience. There are three choices that will link you. The leader of your country you selected with your population, your ethnic group, your language, and your religion. This will determine who you are. The actions take you take will then determine your values and your culture. Who you are and what your values are will be the main source that will de determine both your approval ratings at home and how other world leaders see you in, uh, everywhere in the world. If you, if you select characteristics that are not very common in your country, it will be more difficult for your population to relate you to you, and thus difficult to approve of your leadership. For example, if you selected Saudi Arabia, um, if you select the Saudi Arabia as your country, be you create a Chinese female character who speaks French, the game will be significantly more difficult for you to play. So if you, so to help you make easier choices, we provided you with a world map that will highlight the areas where the people have similar characteristics to your character. Let's go ahead and play. So you start your game and now automatic, all modifications will be saved. Are you ready to play? So you cannot change your character's appearance while you play. So all of that is set and done. We have almost 300 people watching this. Guys, if you are watching this right now, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. I am racing to 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to um if you guys want to uh, help me get to 10,000 subscribers, I mean, how many people do we have watching this right now? 300 people. That is amazing. Um, and then so apparently I also I'm getting some information from uh, Jean-René Couture um, as I'm doing the stream. So he actually said that um, this is so this is the preview build. This is the build that was sent to content creators to preview the game. The official build, the release build is completely different from this one. So this is build um, 27,205. There have been 400 builds of Superpower 3 since then so um Jesus Christ I just keep I just keep messing around just keep uh playing my own audio where I'll, wherever else but yeah there have been 400 builds of superpower 3 since then Again, I really want to thank uh, Jean Rene and the team at Golem Labs for helping, for at least making my channel at least one of the first to preview this game. This is the world map, as you can see here. So you can see playing is the United States, Luxembourg World Conquest. So this is the map. This is the map. You can see my military units that are stationed all over the world. We got some of the Philippines. We got. A lot in Japan, including a naval unit. We have a lot in the, the Middle East, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and we still have some in Afghanistan. You can start, so you can see that we have right now, we are starting off in the year 2018. So this is sort of not up to date. Obviously, the Ukraine war is not being represented in this um, yet, but a lot of mods are going to be coming out for this and i will definitely be uh, previewing mods on on this uh on this channel so let's see i want to see how many subscribers i've gained we are at 6679 subscribers i was literally at 6640 like not too long ago wow oh my god we are getting so many subscribers and viewers 326 people are watching this stream right now this is the biggest live stream i have ever held 
I'm probably, I was literally watching Raptor not too long ago. I'm, I, I have a feeling I could actually be outpacing Raptor in the, in the amount of uh, viewers that I have. And he has over a million subscribers. And again, guys, leave a like. Like, we have 300 people watching this. Let's get up to 250 likes. Oh, wow. Maximo, thank you so much. PG, can you make a monthly multiplayer game of subscribers? Why not? Yeah, if guys, uh, that was actually an idea that he told me. Um, can't believe I'm wasting 50 US dollars out of all people on wannabe Texan politician. <laughs> wannabe Texan world leader. So, um, in response to the Indonesian man uh, violating that content embargo, so they're going to go ahead and select over here in Indonesia. I know you guys are immediately going to want to see this, so let's go ahead and and uh, <clears throat> and uh, do this. I know you guys are wanting to do wanting to see this. This is how you start a nuclear attack against another country. So you come over here and you have your technology forces and secret services. We're gonna we're gonna restart this game because I want I just want to do this just for the meme of it. So we go over to forces. We go over to nuclear, and then we have all of our nuclear uh, vessels and missiles and everything like that. Come over here, we can select nuclear, their nuclear targets, their military targets, or we can strike their uh, civilian targets. Come over here and launch a nuclear attack. So this is what the nuclear missiles look like now. And again, a lot of this is probably changing. Again, this is 400 builds behind. just gifted so many memberships in my channel dude thank you so much maximo i dare you to look oh god yeah i need to look at serbia i'll show you I sh i'll show you guys the countries that are missing so again um take everything you see here with a grain of salt the official build will be previewed tomorrow on this channel so do not miss this miss that stream uh if you can see right here population literally did not change in indonesia and um but 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 listen 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 before you start rambling on in the comments that has changed that has been fixed again this build that i am previewing on here is 400 builds behind so that population right there would probably be like 20 million even if you just like russia has the crimea rip up um, it's just a lot of stuff yeah there's a lot of uh, water effects and everything like that turn the main menu um, we're gonna start another game and we're gonna go on the United States and we're gonna preview everything the first thing obviously that I wanted to preview to you guys is nuclear war so um, we're actually uh, I guess I don't have to save them Wow 150 NT how much is that I'm Frank hey what's up Frank Three hundred and twenty. We just gained seven subscribers in like five minutes. Oh my god, I love you guys so much. I knew this was gonna be a huge day for this channel. Remember, remember, reminder that this game releases tomorrow. This is a preview build. Yes, 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 yes. This is a preview. That way, I could preview it to you guys. That's the whole point of this live stream. Loading seems a bit slow. Hopefully it's smoother now. Is there fallout after a nuke? Yes. <clears throat> um, okay. So first off, we have the demography tab. Demography is the most important aspect of your country. So the way that I see demography in here. So if you come over here, this is the politics tab. If you remember in the politics tab of um, of Superpower 2, you could change your political party, you could change your, um, you could ch change your political ideology, and everything like that. So if you come over to demography, this is a, I think the closest that we're going to get to a political ideology, because 
just like the character creators said, it's your character and the actions that you take that that make what your country is going to be about your political ideology. So you may be playing as the Democratic Party. You may be pl playing as the Democratic Party, but then at the same time, um, you are. Uh, it, it's all of these. So you have your power distance index. You have your individualism, masculinity, femininity, uncertainty, avoidance index, um, long term orientation, indulgence versus restraint. Um, a couple people donated real quick. So Frank, hey, how are you? Um, Chi, what's up? How are you? Thank you so much for the ten dollars, Chi. Um, <clears throat> your music, okay. <laughs> um, what's reproductive freedom? I'll go with. I'll, I'm going through everything right now. So this is like a unrestrained, no, no restrictions kind of stream. We just gained another 10 subscribers in five minutes. That is amazing. We're about to hit 6,700 subscribers. Dude, we have 300 people here. We could literally, if you guys are not subscribed to me, we could hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of this live stream. Can we do that? Can we hit 7,000? I think, like, there are 300 people here that are probably not subscribed to me. So, guys, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not. Um, really weird to have ideology tied to culture. Really like to see a political map here. Yeah. Um, so here's your population. You have your population growth rate, your birth rate, your death rate, your immigration, your immigration, um, your majority language, religions, and ethnicities. And then you have your social groups right here. So this is your majority, but then this is your actual social groups right here. So you have your Americans, you have your African Americans, and you have your Hispanics. And there's actually like other, an other kind of thing that pops up right here. Um, dude, just play Jesus. Oh, screw you. So uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys the map. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that are missing. If you look at Italy right here, you're going to notice two things that are missing. You're going to notice that the Holy See does not exist, and you're going to notice that San Marino does not exist. So San Marino should be somewhere around right here, and and San Marino is not there. This is going to piss off a lot of Serbians right here. Kosovo exists. <laughs> I dare you to show Serbia. Yeah, yeah. It's not there. Yeah. A lot of Serbians are going to give this game negative reviews. Um, is it buffering for y'all? Crap. There's so many people coming to this channel right now that uh okay okay it's it's kind of buffering on my end it's probably because of the overload of the amount of people and pe okay so it's not it's not buffering i thought it was buffering um so yeah kosovo does not exist or kosovo exists as a country is not a part of serbia in in here um if i go over to taiwan same thing with taiwan taiwan is its own independent country um fun thing around right here is that it's going to be fun to play as azerbaijan and armenia is because the the nagorno karabakh region actually exists so the Artsakh exists um the kal bajar lustin region exists um I included the but not the Crimean Republic. Well, Crimean Republic was annexed by 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 Russia. So watch this. So Ukraine, Ukraine is 
in control of Crimea. So it says that they hold political control over Crimea, but if I come over here, we're gonna go over to international politics. We're gonna go over to look at contested regions. So contested regions should, you see, should say it right here because it's, it's shown that to me before. Yes, let's go. 6,700 subscribers, guys. We just hit it. So, I don't know why it's not showing it right here, but um, but the Crimea region and the South Ossetia region are contested by Russia. So, I've seen Russia literally very early in the game annex both of these regions right here. So, again, this, this build is 400 built behind so so that's probably you probably seen a couple of issues with it but again it's not not too bad but it is there oh i am paused um so another thing there's only one set speed right here every year in game takes about five minutes to go by um so the game is running, but it's not really that bad. The, the units move pretty quickly. So if I actually show you right here, so you can click on your units right here. So you, these are your military units. You have your M270s, you have like a set of your troops right here, which comprises of M1A1s, M1A2s, you have some of your missile launchers, etc. And so if I move these over into, this is whenever you move them. So this is what it looks like. So you can move them right here. I can move them to the southern part of Kentucky. And this is how long it takes for them to move. I can zoom in right here. You can see all of the cities right here. So cool thing is that if you zoom out, it'll show you the, the state, the region that you were looking at. The closer you get right here, you see Massachusetts, Boston. Massachusetts, New Bedford, um, Providence, Springfield, Albany, Albany, Utica. So the the with the if you zoom in and specifically look at these cities, it'll tell you which city it is. So if you come over here. It'll say Bridgeport, Stamford, and then New York. Yeah, exactly. Uh, citrus tree. You said it exactly how I was going to say it. And that's why I think this game is going to be controversial to some. This game is a hit and miss in some areas. So it's going to it's a hit in places like the military. I'll show you guys how military gameplay works because we are going to stomp Cuba into the ground for in a minute. Um, so the terrain looks better. I mean, it looks way better than Super Power 2. Anything, anything over Super Power 2, I'll take. Is there anti-ICBM defense? There is not as of yet, so not that I know of. So this is the military research tree right here. So forces. Yeah, I don't think there's a uh, anti-missile defense. Not yet. See map modes. I'm 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 trying my best to go over everything in a timely manner. So we're gonna get to everything. I promise you. I promise. Um. And then so if I wanted to move these submarines and ships right here, we're gonna go ahead and start building up on a move toward Cuba. So we are going to move some of our troops, 102,000 troops down into Southern Florida. In countries build other weapons, not just troops. Um, yes, yeah. There's nothing wrong with Super Power 2 graphics. Yeah, there's a special ops infantry. And that's the other thing that you can actually do. So I'll show you guys how to how to research real quick. So if I come over here, you go to research. This is again where it's kind of a hit, but it's also a miss. Kind of both. 
We just hit, we just officially hit 6,700 subscribers. Guys, again, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I, I really would appreciate you um, subscribing to this channel. Um, it, it would it would make my day for you guys to subscribe. You already have almost a thousand views on here. Um, so if I want to come over here, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, so we have active personnel, we have regular infantry. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to call this special forces. I'll create the design. Um, is, is it, is it not going to let me create the design? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Now it's up. Or it's not. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Oh. That's what I was doing wrong. <laughs> okay, so you have your you have your weapons, you have your engine, you have your stealth, you have communication, sensors, and armor. So primary, you have your primary weapons. This is like your machine guns, your pistols, your everything. So you have your damage that they will make, the range, the area, and precision. You have your secondaries, it's like rocket launchers, grenades. Um, secondary types of weapons. If you play it any sort of like shooters, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then you have your engine, obviously your ground force, you don't really need an engine. So you have your stealth. So it says to evade detection compared to sensors of the targeting unit. And then you have your communications, will affect how quickly a unit in the battlefield will respond to a change of color, change of order. And then you have your sensors, you have your air, ability to detect them of stealth and to hit them to attack them stealth and to hit them and then you have your armor conventional armor enables a unit to soak damage and not losing hit points even after successful hit and then you have your nbc which is your nuclear protection for the unit to resist a nuclear blast so we're going to outfit them with the latest technologies as much as we can go everything like that and we're going to create the design. The unit has been complete and has been sent to the build tab where you can place an order, an order at any time. And so I can come over to forces. I can go over to the build. Build and deploy. And then we have special forces. And then so I can build 50,000. I can only build 10,000 of them, but um, it gives me the cost of this. So I'll go ahead and confirm my order. So it starts building those uh, those units. When you evade cube, can you showcase how you can bomb them with cruise missiles? Yes. We also see damage effects on cities and regions. Follow, follow, I want, oh my god, I will play. I will, I will do a series on a Fallout mod. I want my sino-american war dude that will be amazing yeah it's getting a little laggy so also show off this so if you look right here you can see the flags everything like this flags we have you know the polish flag german we have all of our european flags we have every flag you see is the capital of a certain country yeah 12 billion let's go <laughs> 12 billion seems a bit much <laughs> shut up let me do my thing i want to see what my real time yeah wow my real time views is going nuts right now you have a thousand people watching in one hour wow Let's start training special forces for a few billion dollars. <laughs> um, here it is, here it is. Contested region. So you can see that Crimea is contested by Russia and that South Ossetia is contested by Russia. So you see the contested regions as they are, um, as their home country. And you see the contested regions as they are being outfitted. So I'll actually show you guys how to contest a region whenever we go after, whenever we go after Cuba. Are there alternate flags for countries for different governments? I don't think so. Maldives in the game, yes. Um, the only countries that I notably have seen missing is um, 
It's a uh, San Marino, the Holy See, and Nuwaru. Um, Nuwaru is 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 pretty much missing. Um, continue. In the Indonesia guy, you're only the channel to reveal the game as of yet, so, yeah. Well, yeah, some Indonesian guy again, that's why I nuked Indonesia not too long ago, because he literally, like, violated the content embargo to, to, to showcase the game. Australia, you have Australia right here. Um... Is it possible to customize your country in game? Yes. What hour is Superpower going out tomorrow? I think. Um, sometime around ten, possibly. It was against the NDA. I don't think it was a. It, it, it was more of a content creator thing. So it's different from any sort of. Uh, from that, uh, essentially. Again, it's more of a, a content creator thing because uh, well, I'm trying to think about it. Basically, like they, they gave us a bunch of codes. They sent us an email and said, like, here's what here's the code, um, blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and try it out. Here's a tutorial. Um, have fun. And so it's, it's kind of just some sort of what he did is that he didn't respect the content embargo. So the content embargo was supposed to prevent all content creators from previewing the game um, in any sort of fashion before the content content embargo ends. So he didn't, I'm pretty sure he didn't, he wasn't a part of any sort of NDA or anything because I didn't have to sign an NDA to get the game uh, here, but <clears throat> Um, so it's it's just kind of it's kind of funny. Uh, I just thought it was hilarious whenever I saw that. Yeah. So anyway, um, if you if you guys actually did see, you could actually see that Russia just annexed all of the land that that, that was contested. So you saw these marks that I came over and saw. Um, it was these red marks. That's what happens whenever you annex land. So you can see now that Russia does now have complete full political. Uh, and economic now control over over the regions of Crimea and South Ossetia. We could actually embargo them if we wanted. <clears throat> Literally no one cares. Play the game. Shut up. <laughs> um, okay. So political, come over here. This is all your political stuff right here. So you have your approval, your stability, um, your type of government. Notable, notable exceptions right here is that you cannot change your government type. You have two different government types in the game unless I am wrong and I need to read the manual. I will be reading the manual whenever I'm done with this game. <clears throat> um, so you have a multi-party democracy and you have a dictatorship. So actually, let me, let me see so I can actually zoom this over here. And go over to China. Let's see what they are. They are a limited. Okay, so there are three. Three. In the game. Multi party democracy. Limited democracy. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Burma. Multi party democracy. <laughs> well, this was in 2018, so. Have some fun with the stickers of channel members right here. Let's go. Wait, shouldn't Republicans be in charge in 2018? Um, there are not. There's three types of governments from what I what I now see, because like China right here is a very limited democracy. Um, and under so there's dictatorship, limited democracy, and multi-party democracy. So you cannot change them unless you change your laws. So your laws, you have three different types of. Uh, <clears throat> you have three different types. And by the way, I don't think there's monarchy either. So if I come up, oh, okay, never mind. There's four. There's four of them. So monarchy is um, is a part of it. They have Saudi Arabia. You have Qatar. 
Um, okay, so there's four different government types. <clears throat> and Super Power 2 didn't really have that many government types, to be honest. So anyway, you have your internal laws, you have your freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, homosexuality, abortion, gay marriage, and reproductive freedom. You have three different ways that you can change these laws. You have illegal, you have intermediate, and you have legal. And that's uh, possible throughout all of these laws right here. And all of these change your affinity. So you have your government affinity and your population affinity. The, the, the more these are separated, the more you're, you will start having disagreements with your people. And I think the more likely you are to have maybe some sort of secessionist rebellion, civil wars, anything like that. Yeah, superpower the four two, superpower two had like I think it was like six or seven different government types, but all of them were kind of like I, I they all had their kind of um weird different ways, and I really liked how they kind of did it. But then at the same time, it was kind of weird. I never really felt that accustomed to change it, you know, unless I was playing as China or some sort of dictatorship. Or maybe sometimes to a monarchy or something like that. Anyway, um, you have your demography right here. You have your population. We already went over this. You have your culture. So your culture, this is where you can control your media groups. So you have one, two, three, four, five different uh, media groups in your country. So I think one of these is should be nationalized. So if not, if you don't have a... a uh, if you don't have uh, a nationalized media company, you have two different options that you can do right here. So you can come over here, you can go over to the American press, and then you can say, okay, well, I want the government to come in and nationalize it. So it says ownership is now by the government. So nationalizing media is a lesser crime for the population than losing than closing it outright. It can still be seen as a hostile takeover. This will be mitigated on how the population feels toward their government, see support and affinity. Nationalized media will gradually move their culture to the back of representative culture of the political party. A private media will gradually move their culture to have the largest, largest audience, thus the largest share of the population. So you can do this with all of them, or you can do this with one of them. That way the government kind of does has its hand over a certain section of the population. And so here's the, uh, the, the social groups, by the way. So you see Americans, Hispanics, African-Americans, Mexicans, and then you have all the others. So you have Argentinians, uh, Brazilians, Black Dominicans, Dominicans, uh, blah, 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 Venezuelans, Tunisians, Peruvians, Nicaraguans, Colombians, uh, Algerian Arabs, etc. And, it, and that's possible to see throughout every single country that you have in the world. And then lastly, so I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to privatize it one more time. Um, and then so I can go over to support and then you have the same, you have some sort of the same thing. So you have uh, support, which is your internet control. So you have your average years in education, which in the United States is 13. So you have your country's average and then you have your world average. 13 is the average in the United States. And then so the world average um, is about right here. Um, and then you have your GDP per capita, and then you have your network. So this is where you can literally turn the internet on and off. If you're in a Western democracy, you'll have a harder time uh, holding your approval up if you if you close this. If you are in a dictatorship or something like that, it's a lot easier for you to do that. So the social aspect is a little more in tune to the ideology of the country than power and revolution is, for example. Because power and revolution, there's a basis for it, but a lot of countries kind of have a very similar outlook. So like in Saudi Arabia, if you outlaw homosexuality in power and revolution, you actually end up seeing riots over it, which really would never happen in Saudi Arabia. And so it's kind of weird how it works in, in power and revolution. See how many subscribers I'm at right now. 6,703. Um, 
I priced this at $15. Yeah, it is $29.99. Um, so over here you have your land, um, and this is going to be very important. So it says land use is another factor of resource management. If your country is geographically just sands and rocks, it will be difficult to grow crops, even if you invest billions of dollars. So it effectively produce roots. Some resources need a combination of, the, of these two things, land and some human capital. Not all resources require land, of course, so some only require the first tier. Um, only some of the first tier of the economic range. The only way for the player to effectively use this land is to convert potentially arable land into cropland, is to throw money at it. In the environmental budget, if you invest more than it is needed, more in the middle of the needle, um, gradually more arable land will be turned into cropland. On the other land, on the other hand, if you invest less money than what is needed to maintain farms or close, and more cropland will revert to arable land. So it's kind of like the lower you so these actually have an effect so if you increase the production then you're like then it's like uh it increases your your uh arable crop lands but then if you lower it um then it gradually goes back to uh to like forest or arable lands it's disappointing they didn't give you a more recent build just to show off the marketing for this game is bizarre <laughs> um yeah, it, yeah. Again, this the 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 preview that I am showing you guys right now is about 400 builds behind. This is just kind of like to gauge and start everything off. Let's see if I can move all of these troops into the ocean. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys how um, contested regions work real quick and then we're gonna declare war on Cuba so this is what I can do so I can move all of these troops into Cuba this guy says 400 builds behind one more time <laughs> So it says Cuba is a region under mixed military control. So we can come over here. And so it says we have Clara. And so there should be an option right here for me to annex it. So sometimes that is a possibility. Um. So I can see, so the option hasn't shown up yet. So, oh, mixed military control. So that means there's a military unit in the area. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna come over here. So here's, here's all of the treaties that you have in Superpower 3, at least the ones that you can do off of a quick treaty. Um, where this is literally the first time we see gameplay. Yep. <laughs> you have one year election. Huh, I didn't think I would. So you have aid requests, which is military aid. You have annex region. You have military technology, military hardware. You have your monetary. You have your unit border crossing. You have your economic embargoes. You have your cultural exchanges, human development. You have your embassies, so you can open and close embassies. You have your war. You have your ceasefire, and you have your alliance. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to war, and we're gonna declare war on Cuba. So real quick, whenever that happens. Um, so we already have. We have Tampa Airport, so I wanna, hang on. So this is the airstrike range. So if I wanted to launch an airstrike against Cuba, I can come over here and I can launch a airstrike against certain targets in Cuba. So I'm gonna launch an airstrike against this guy right here. And as well, how many troops do I have right here? 15,000, we're gonna have to reinforce them. 32,000. So another thing that I just forgot to do, if I have, I 
I want to launch a cruise missile attack. So again, this is a box that is about 200 kilometers by 200 kilometers. You can see my airstrike taking place right here. No NATO. No, NATO is in here. Yes, NATO is in here. The United Nations is not. Is there really that much lag? NATO is in the game. I don't know why someone said that they're not. ZZZ on the combat. Oh, come on. Superpower 2 had way worse combat. Yeah, the co the 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 combat is honestly pretty good. I like it. UN um, basically they said that the reason that there's no United Nations is mainly because they couldn't get the copyright for it, which is weird because Iron Revolution literally has. United Nations and literally every national organization that you can think of in it, so I, I don't understand why they couldn't get it. There we go, there, now they're moving. There's the battle. Here's the battle map that you can see right here, so you can really see exactly where your troops are. Arma 3 couldn't get a UN license, really? It's because there's so many helicopters that I have selected right here, that's probably why. I'm gonna move these guys out we're gonna uh, we're gonna place some fresh troops in there uh, that's probably why it's taken him so long probably because there's a communication issue so that's probably why communication is really important see yeah yeah right there you see that See that right there? That's the communication. It's waiting for you to send it. Uh, it's waiting for the orders to be sent. So yeah, that's why uh, communication is very, very important. See, that uh, that that makes sense. Wait, it's not Hoi Four? Oh no! You have two hundred likes on this video. Let's go. Do you need to resupply your units? No. 
other strategic bombers is just uh, jets thankfully and i would have been absolutely disappointed if there were not um if there are strategic bombers speaking of i'm gonna go ahead and grab a strategic bomber and i'm gonna bring it So, okay, so that's the other thing that I haven't even said, I haven't said anything about. So airports are a necessity for your air force. So if you can see right here, okay, so I have some B-52s. So you can see this is the, the, the range of your B-52s. So you can see right here, I can move it to the Sarasota airport. So my strategic bomber right now is moving over to the Sarasota airport. Now we'll start launching uh, some long range uh, bombing missions against Cuba. So what are you guys' thoughts on Super Power 3? Do you guys like it so far? Is there anything you guys want me to preview? playing on the low no i am i am maxed out right now my gpu is running at 62 degrees fahrenheit <laughs> and my cpu is running at 56 degrees to target them bomb them or returning to the airport I want to see what a strategic bomber mission looks like. Yeah, I need to show map modes in the economy. That's the next thing. I really wanted to show off the, the, the military gameplay. So right here, you have your combat behavior. So you can select your units. I'm going to select every single one of these. like the closest unit so you can it's, it's basically your strategy right here so right here i'm going to attack a specific target one Yeah, the comments alone that you guys are sending me right now. Um, I, 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 again, I, I know a lot of superpower players and knowing some of the community, like, <clears throat> I knew it was going to be controversial. That's why I said this is going to be controversial. Some people are, some, some of y'all are saying that it's, it's a DLC to superpower Two. Like I waited 18 years for this and this is disappointing. I'm getting red flags all over the place. <laughs> B-52s have a higher range than that, lol, yeah. Again, I'm, someone's gonna hit me or unsubscribe from me whenever I say this. 200 builds behind. Saying that as about as many times as Al Gore called the, said the lockbox. I've gotten the key and can't be no I can be a negative as I want they don't care they probably care but um, I can be as negative as I want I'm not being paid for this a 400 that's what I meant to say no I I said it was going to be controversial because you yourself noticed how bad it is no i like it i like it i i think it's a i think it's a good successor there we go now they're fighting i don't i guess they ran out of ammo or something i need to figure that out i don't really know that much about combat 
Um, I meant to say 400, not 200. Yeah, so, I mean, the devs are watching this stream, stream with y'all. They're watching your feedback. I'm the first English player stream to stream it. They are definitely seeing y'all's comments. I'm not being paid for this. And they're gonna update this game way more than ever some updates Power and Revolution. I hope. So, is the economy and trade like PNR? No. It feels like early access. No, I it wouldn't say. We'll, we'll, we'll really figure it out tomorrow. I'll see what the general consensus is. Um, so for what is 400 builds? Okay, 400 builds when I say that is it, it they've updated the game 400 more times than uh, than what I'm playing. So I am 400 updates behind because this is the this is the version that they gave me. So I need to send my units into southern into southern Cuba. So I'm assuming the gray is. I'm assuming the gray is um, the uh, the areas that I have conquered, and the red is the areas that I have not conquered. You're way behind then. Yeah, the, well, that's the that's the version of the game that they gave me. I it it officially updates to the to the to the release build tomorrow. So so we'll see. Let me see if there's any other messages from John Rene. No, nothing yet. Do you like this more than that? The combat is way better in Power and Revolution in a uh, Super Power 3. I like the combat way better here. So anyway, let me see if I can annex Cuba. Yo, what happened in Kazakhstan? So I can go ahead and, and annex all of this land. I'll show you guys what annexation looks like. So yeah, all of the territory that I have conquered. It takes a couple of times for me to really move my units. Can you set blockades with your navy? Probably. Is it better than GPS for detail wise? No. Military wise? Yes. It's not as complicated as Hearts of Iron. It is not as difficult as Hearts of Iron. It is not as difficult as Power and Revolution. It is not as detailed as Power and Revolution. As a, as a successor to, to Super Power 2, it does its job. Multiplayer is going to be a freaking blast in Super Power 3. I, I am absolutely 100% hyped for multiplayer. Let's go ahead and take out all these... All these, uh... Ships right here. I feel a lack of information on that invasion, like troop losses, stuff like that. Yeah, like um, like in Super Power Two, where it would tell you like how many troops you lost in that in that attack. Well, let's look right here. Wait! Oh my God! Look! So all of my allies declared war on Cuba. Even NATO.
Again, all of this is bound to change. All of this is bound to change. Again, if you guys are watching this and you love Superpower 3 right now, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. How's NATO declared war when it's a defensive alliance? I don't know. <laughs> are there peace deals? Can I peace out for individual cities, regions like PNR? Am I forced to map paint? Um, you. You conquer the areas that you want um, and then you can annex them or you can just have them under your control. How much is this game? Two th uh, Two thousand, um, twenty nine ninety See some of my annexations are about are about to be done. So did you get any codes for the giveaway? Any giveaway codes? Let me check. I emailed their PR person, and I have not heard anything back yet. We had a peak of 341 people watching the stream. I knew it was going to like peak and then as soon as everyone kind of got disappointed, then um, then it was going to it was going to slump back down. I knew there was going to be some people that were going to be disappointed. Okay, so so I so I said this wrong. Whenever I say the build number is the change list, which means a jump of 400 in the CL number means that uh, 400 changes have been made to the game, not not 400 builds, and you can compile those 400 changes in one build. Yeah, so I I got that uh I got that uh, mixed up. So that means 400 changes have been made to superpower 3 since then. So I am 400 changes behind including bug fixes. Move an attack. I want to see play the annexation of these regions from Cuba. Oh, look at all that border gore. We're officially attacking, so that's what it looks like whenever you just go in and attack. Glad you can be streaming it and making it all clear. Yep, that's the main goal. Get a lot of questions out of the way. Get a lot of uh, treaty has been accepted, waiting for response from other countries. But gives that the I, I did not agree to any of this. Treaties. So Santiago de Cuba received. Oh, okay, so they're asking for $385 million. Screw you, Turkey.
So thematic maps, someone keeps asking for political map mode. This is the political map mode. Is there any research? Yes. So again, a couple of differences right here from Superpower 2. San Marino does not exist, neither does the Holy See. Kosovo is its own country. I want it's its own country. He obliterated Indonesia at the start of the stream. <laughs> map alliances um so i come over here go over to view empires so you see the u.s empire alliance empire and you can see that the uh southern america yo who the hell is antarctica um but there is a political change political events what happened Andorra is moving politically to the right. So yeah, actually, it actually tells you whenever these uh, countries are moving politically to the right or um, economically or something like that. So you see NATO. NATO is a thing. Fortunately, Ukraine cannot join NATO. So that is uh, unfortunate right there. Hopefully organizations are added in the future, or if someone makes a mod for it. Can you puppet? Um, I don't know. I do not know. Is there space stuff? Because I can see you can zoom out pretty far. Yeah, you can actually see that everything is 3D, even the moon. The moon is 3D. The sun is 3D. See the sun. New to this is more of country builder or conquest game. Both. You can do both. It's just a lot harder for you now to uh, conquest. Um, thematic maps. You have your nuclear strength, human development index, economic strength, military strength, world resources. So that's actually something else that I have not um, previewed. I'm going to go over here. And we're going to go over to uh, economics. So economics, you have uh, three sectors of your economy. You have your primary, you have your secondary, and you have your tertiary. Where's the big chungus mod? Oh, yes. First thing I'm going to download. Um, you have your primary, your secondary, and your tertiary. So the way this works in Superpower 3 is that you have three different tiers across the entire world of the economy. You have your primary, which is your natural resources, your food, your energy, natural resources, and your vices. You have your secondary secondary tier, um, which is your secondary sector, which is your production and your industrial. And then you have your tertiary uh, economy, um, or third tier, which is your goods and services, your which comprises of your services, which is education, healthcare, and tourism, your luxury, which is your refined products and technologies, and your research, which is civilian and military. Your content related to space? No. Anti-missile does not exist yet. Can you cite trade deals? Yes, you can, so long as, you, as the sector is nationalized. So if I can actually come over here, we're going to come over here and we're going to do 20% across the entire economy. Global tax mod does not exist anymore, so you have to go in and manually change the taxes for every single sector. This is how you get a crap ton of money. Is this recommended? I don't know. I don't know the exact economic strategy that you should employ yet. I'm still getting used to this game. not as tedious doesn't feel as tedious as it did as it did in superpower 2 i cannot wait to read the mod or the the manual so if uh jean renee if you're listening go ahead and send me that manual i'll show you guys like an in-depth look at the economy real quick once i get all these taxes sorted out 
I'll show you what it looks like whenever you nationalize a sector. So I'll nationalize one of the sectors real quick. Well, this one's nationalized. Um, okay, so you have your industrial military, you have your legality. Making a sector completely illegal doesn't stop domestic production, but it greatly diminishes it. It forbids trade, taxes, etc. There are no expense or revenues from the sector. Population still has domestic needs and consumption, though. And then you have your unemployment, the overall unemployment of your country, since Palestine does not exist, it does. Um... Since every employee is transferred to go to a specific tier profession based on education and culture, if you have a high number of unemployed citizens, it means that certain economic sectors aren't developed correctly to match the population training and availability. And then you have your investments, the inv percentage of the economic sector in your complete economy. You can choose here to invest um, money in that sector from your available funds. This will be met over time to increase domestic production and employee productivity. Increasing production can take time and sometimes can sometimes can depend on other factors. For example, or for instance, uh, some sectors require arable lands to grow, like food. Um, if you're at maximum capacity, it'll be difficult to increase your production further. For instance, increasing cereal production when there are no longer have any space to do so. The other factor is available workforce. If you're at maximum capacity with very little unemployment, you will have a greater impact in investing in education than in a specific sector. If uh, the conditions are right, you will see an increase increase in production. And then you have your cons you have your productivity percentage, your uh, land usage, um, your country consumption, how much you're producing, how much you're trading, and then what your uh, actual trade balance is. And then you have your global market, which one is privatized or nationalized. So 100% of the entire global market is nationalized. So green is privatized, red is nationalized. And you can come over here and you can enact trade policy with other countries. I can come over here and I can see that I am exporting 100% to South Korea. So I can say, so this is going to be really fun whenever it comes to multiplayer. So I can come over here and I can say I want to increase my trade of uh, industrial and military goods to South Korea by $17 billion. Or I can, so I'll say... 21 billion dollars. I'm pretty sure they're gonna refuse this. I can propose it. They have been refused by South Korea. The buyer's country does not need any more of this resource. But the option is still there. So if you want to say, okay, I don't want to sell um, industrial military goods to Indonesia, for example, because they violated that content embargo, I can just go over here and delete my trade with Indonesia. And then I can go over to another country and I can select them and say, okay, so I can go over to Ukraine, for example. I can come over here and I can cr increase my um, trade with Ukraine to $10.7 billion. Again, they have refused it. So... I'm checking. Oh, that's so cool. I got a shout out from Ziddy. Like three minutes before the stream went live. He said our very own politics gaming is streaming Super Power 3 right now on YouTube. If you wish to see anything or ask anything, he's a good person to do it with. He's gonna be playing for quite a while. Yep, I'm gonna be I'm still gonna be playing for quite a while. Just kidding. I'm gonna end the stream right now. Um now we're gonna be playing for a while. Um Go ahead and uh, unpause the game. Industrial military, I think I came over here. Yep, it is 20%. That ratio is too high, so we need to continue to increase this. Nation is apparently nationalized. So these taxes generates income from private trades for public trades margins based on your country's productivity and human development instead and luxury probably gonna get this over vicky 3 i'm probably gonna get both vicky 3 does look pretty good honestly um i yeah i need to i need to i need to look at the uh, secret service system 
So that's what I'll do next once I get all my econ economic sectors sorted out. Research military. So again, and you can come over here and you can overview what countries you're doing it. You can basically come over here and I'm like, okay, why am I trading with the Zambia? So I can come over here, delete the trade. That's it. And so it says the United States has stopped exporting military research to the Zambia. Don't forget to invest. Don't forget to show the budget screen. Yeah, and so I can come over here. This is the budget screen. I can come over here, increase my taxes to 22%. There we go. A revolution or coup is almost inevitable. I can come over here and I can increase stability. I can also increase propaganda, that way I get, can get more approval. For an aid. So this is the International Monetary Fund. This is what it does. Is there private and public research? Yes, basically. Popular creators of the Guild 3? Yes. What little buffs that make me feel like I'm advancing as a country. Defense of this game, Superpower 2, wasn't that great of a game either. It was more of a so, of a so concept, the game along with the what draws people to it. Taipei is its own country, yes. Let's go. Let's go. And then so right here, so civilian research is done for everything, not military. It will help productivity. So this is the other thing about the budget. So it actually shows you, and this is what I really like about... about um, the annexation of Santiago to Cuba. So if you come over here and you look at infrastructure, so instead of, you know, if I look at it and it says infrastructure represents roads, bridges, airports, water, electricity, etc. Um, if I look over here, even you look at if you look at the bottom, like right here, where it says variable from this list, placing the cursor over variable expense will display what it affects, the source, and whether consequences of modifying it. Come over to in, uh, infrastructure. And it says in, it, it, the source of it is industrialization, transport, and urbanization. And the consequences of it are GDP percentage goes up and productivity goes up. Same thing for civilian research. So population, productivity, industrialization, human development go into it, and then it affects world average productivity. So it gives you more money off of your trades. See a revolution. Yeah, you know, let's just screw up so bad. You try and start a revolution, yeah. So my annexations should be done. And then so if I... Oh, new treaty. Oh, it tells you right here. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so if you ever have a new treaty, it tells you right here, this is your new treaty. So the United States gives $379 million to Costa Rica. So go over here, you can go to Costa Rica and then say, okay, what's your economic situation? You're getting $300 million off of me. Your balance is, uh, or your funds are 41 bill. Why are you asking for money? Um, how's the US? Not $83 billion. Anyway, so I can come over here, go over to new treaty and I can add a constraint to it. So if I say, I want, human development index exchange because I want to help Costa Rica more into my sphere of influence so then I can come up here by the way and I can call this the Santiago agreement that was the treaty the treaty has been accepted by all participants so I can call it the Santiago agreement so that's the that's the other thing now, if I wanted to cancel the treaty, Treaty of San Jose, if I wanted to cancel the treaty, then I can come over here and I can say, okay, it closes it. Where's Parliament? Parliament is not in the game. 
There's no parliament. There is no legislative. There's no legislative. Bleh. There is no legislative branch. I cannot say legislative. <laughs> um, we still have 200 people watching us. Game military budget is 83 billion, billion, I think. Yeah, there is no parliament in in Superpower Two. So the, the if if you're if you're wanting like the most detailed game ever, your unit cannot target anyone. So if I wanted to get all of these guys to return to base, stop your current action. Is it good? Depends on your definition. Oh, and the other th the other cool thing too is that if I come over here, so you can you have a search bar right here, right on the bottom right here. So you go over here, you search country by name. So you can come over here if I wanted to say I want to search up Norway, and go over to Norway, and I can select Norway, and it sh and it leads me over to Norway. So someone give me a certain region that you want me to look up. Reminder that there are over 3,000 regions in Superpower 3. So give me a region, just one region, of your own personal country in our parliament sucks ass. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. I like to interact with parliament in, in uh, Superpower. You know what, I'm just going to show you guys an ad real quick. I want to see if this works. <laughs> Some of you guys are going to be pissed. Um, Ireland. Yeah, let's try Kaliningrad. So I want to say I want to look up Kaliningrad. I don't know where Kaliningrad is, and I keep hearing about it. I go, okay, show me Kaliningrad. And it leads me directly to Kaliningrad. Manchuria is not a region. It is a area of northern China, but it is not a region. Kashmir. Yep. We see that there are two different Kashmirs. There's one in the Pakistan and one in uh, India. And by the way, Kashmir is along the lines of actual control, which is really good because in superpower, the one, what, the one thing that makes me really upset about, about power and revolution is that um, Pakistan, uh, the, the Jammu and Kashmir regions of, uh, of India, of a, uh, Pakistan um, are completely under Indian control for some reason. I don't understand why they did that, and it's not along the line of actual control. So just like in Superpower 2, um, the Kashmir region is completely along the lines of actual control in uh, in in the uh, the contested regions of Jammu and Kashmir. Sealand. Oh yeah, let's see if Sealand is in here. Damn. When did he start streaming? About an hour and a half ago. Or say. It leads you right to it. Kansas, the worst state ever. The Arkansas and Kansas are the ones that show up. Christopher Johnson, thank you so much for the donation. What are the odds that devs are feeling generous and having a good day and will let some of us access the test build of the game today? You cannot access it until tomorrow. This is just a preview build for me as a content creator to show you guys. Britannia. Oh, Brittany. Okay. So the other thing is right right here if you can if you can if you trade has been accepted by Samoa. Okay, so we have another treaty proposal. Back. So we have a treaty proposal. They wanna Samoa wants to open an embassy in the United States. We're gonna accept that we're gonna accept that treaty. Jersey, not New Jersey, just Jersey. <laughs> Jersey. New Jersey is the only. Yep. 
So if I actually zoom out right here, you can actually see this is all of the regions of the United Kingdom. So I really like the United Kingdom now in Super Power 3 because in Super Power 3, we, we are not just limited to England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. We actually have uh, Northumberland. We have uh, N South Yorkshire. We have Sheffield. We have West Yorkshire. Um, we have Stafford's. We have a lot of regions in Wales. We have regions in Northern Ireland. We have regions in Scotland. Can you supply other countries with weapons? Yes. I'll actually do a poll real quick. Since there are literally over 200 people watching this. I want to get a poll out of you guys. Go ahead and vote in that poll, lads. Thank you. I want to do some more military research. I want to check. So here's all the units that you can make research for. And I'll, and I'll go through in detail what all of this is. So we have infantry. We have tanks, mobile launchers, frigates, destroyers, aircraft carriers, attack submarines, ballistic submarines, attack aircraft. We have attack helicopters, bombers, and nukes. These are all of the units that you can design. So if I come over here and I'll show you exactly how the unit design works. Come over here. I want to call this the M1A3 or M1A4. So I can come over here and this is a very simple thing you're going to notice that this is extremely similar to how it works in the in in hearts of iron 4. so in superpower 2 you can actually um in superpower 2 you could literally design exactly what your unit wanted to look like it had a very free system in which you can make your unit look really cool given that a lot of the unit designs that we had a hold of were like pre 2000 2005 in because think about it superpower 2 came out in 2004 we were in iraq for a year after superpower 2 came out like gaddafi was still in power serbia and montenegro were still a thing in superpower 2 there was two years before super serbia and montenegro uh, split apart um south sudan wasn't even a country um it was like 10 like 10 years it was came out 10 years before before uh the the ukraine crisis started so anyway so you can see this is the most basic design this is gen 1 design as i start to increase the uh the te the, the technology of this tank you will see what it does so as i increase the abilities of this tank especially so i give it full primary and full secondary weapons so you can see it shows that the tank is using a really good round uh, main cannon round and then it has a sec really powerful secondary weapon go over to engine give it a basic design and it goes i believe this is it looks like either a japanese world war ii tank or maybe a russian world war ii tank it looks japanese i feel like it's like one of the chiha origin looks japanese you give it a full engine that looks like a leopard so that's a gen 2 so i continue to increase the amount of research that it has we go gen 3 so the more you upgrade this tank the better it looks so gen 2 gen 3 You got 60 new subs in an hour. I know, man. I, f I love you guys so much. Let's look, let's look where I'm at right now. 6711. Again, there are 200 people, guys. Guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. I we are so close to 7,000 subscribers. Can we get the 7,000 subscribers on this live stream? This is the most successful live stream I have ever done. Thank you so much, guys. Sounds so cringy. What's up, guys? Guys, go ahead and subscribe, please. Please. 
That's a Merkva 2. So yeah, I, I, I didn't really understand which one this was. So again, and the reason you cannot specifically design it is because these are all going to be, these are all going to be uh, 3D. These are for the 3D map. So if you, if you remember uh, Hearts of Iron, Hearts of Iron at the very beginning had a very limited list of what kind of tanks you were able to, of what kind of like weapons you were able to see on the map. So like planes, you could be using a, you could be using a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, um, you could be using a P40 and it shows you a Spitfire on the map. So it's the same thing with this. Because of the constraints of the engine, because of just a lot of it, that way they don't have to think of all of these variables that are going into unit design. They just give you a Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4 design, and then modders can do the rest. That's the biggest thing. The moment this game comes out, it is going to be mods galore. And I cannot wait to try out you guys' mods. Literally physically designing in Superpower 2 is the dumbest part anyway. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of people really didn't care about the unit design. That's one thing that I kind of I, I kind of uh, miss, I will miss, is, is the unit design. And so, but it is very simplistic and it's better in some ways. And it's going to, a lot of people really didn't care about it. Can we see the Secret Services tab? Yes. So again, if I wanted to come over to build, if I wanted to build it, um, Jason Bar Barnett, thank you so much. Made a, almost $100 on this stream. Awesome. Thank you all. Thank you all of y'all. Really love all of y'all. This is amazing. We're getting so many. We are about to, we are about to surpass 100 subscribers in literally two hours. Um, so if I wanted to come over here, so I can deploy my units. So those are all the special forces. Infantry. I don't know if it deployed it to the capital. I'll have to check that again. Huh. Eversim just released the DLC for fourth generation warfare. Francie's in shambles right now. I know, right? I literally surpassed sh uh, Francie. Okay, so secret services. So secret services right here, you have your secret services power, your cells, your mission details, your budget, your protection, your counterterrorism, and your success rate. So we're going to come over here and we're going to get our first secret service cell. We're gonna, um, am I able to reassign him to a different country or do I have to make a completely new cell? Cell 38s. Counterintelligence, coup d'etat, terrorism, target country. I know so much potential to map paint. I want the Roman Empire. So how do I change the country? Complexity can be decided by the player. The more complex a mission, the more difficult it will be to succeed, but also the greater impact if it's successful. Select a country first. So if I wanted to select. Oh, OK, so I like this collapsible map right here. I can come over here, select my country, and then do this. I want to do a sabotage. Let's 
free Kosovo, but it's Serb, Israel switched with Palestine. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of map corrections that people are going to be making. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I can predict right now what the uh, what the most downloaded mod will be. Um, and it's going to be the, the Turkish language mod. So we're going to try this. We're going to wait for it to, to fill up. We're going to do a sabotage mission against Iran. So I believe, come down here. Big Chungus mod. I can come over here. That's what I need to look. I want if you guys have any questions about what countries are in here and what the map looks like, please please put them down and I'll look. So yeah, Palestine is in the map. Estonia, they want eight billion dollars. What do you want? Sir. I cannot wait to play multiplayer on this man. He shows the religion map. I don't think there is a religion map, but that would actually be a really good idea. For like religions or subculture maps. I didn't even think about that. Relations, aha. Uh -huh. So this is one thing that I think is gonna be a little weird to y'all. So instead of the green and red, I think they should change this. This is one thing that I do want them to change. So you can see that the darker your relations are with them, the more they dislike you. The lighter the relations are, the more they like you. So Western Europe is actually pretty friendly with me. A lot of the Middle East, a lot of the Middle East, everything like that, the, they're darker, they're, that way they hate me a lot more. So this is kind of the weirder thing. Tomorrow is going to be a blast, guys. I'm going to love tomorrow. Can you play multiplayer now? Um, I, 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 I haven't been contacted by any other channels. I need to figure out. Um, I can check. Okay, so look at that. We're already in year 2024. Return the main menu. Let's see if any multiplayer games are happening. Join a game. Let's see what's going on. Nope. I'm the only one. <laughs> I need to look this up. Let me see if there's any other mo any other superpower streams happening right now. I'm probably the only one that's streaming it right now. I've already outpaced the guy, the 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 Indonesian guy that literally leaked the game. Oh, Maltimo already posted something about it. Maximo, what's up? Can we play? Can we all play multiplayer tomorrow? Yep, I'm gonna do a massive multiplayer game with you guys. It's also funny. I get nightmares every time I. Uh... Chris Inglis. There's a lot of um there's a lot of people that are already previewing it, but there's no live streams right now. Let me see. Oh, I need to do a live. Yeah. I'm the only one live streaming it right now. There's a couple of content creators that are posting about it, but I'm the only one that's playing it like right now I want to see how yeah and that's what I need to check I want to see how countries collapse who should I collapse Russia yes just for old time's sake
Let me see if I have my uh, saved characters. It's not. So we're going to go over here and we're going to select Russian. We're going to do Orthodox. And of course, you see that the uh, the map changes as I as I uh, change his uh, demographics. Again, guys, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I really, really, really would like to hit. I mean, it, it, it is a very real possibility. We could hit 7,000 subscribers here, at least in the next couple of days. I never, I never ever expected my channel to be in, in the position that it's in now. Still watching the stream. I can't believe that the game does not have a population indicator in the regions. 222 votes. 75% of y'all say that you guys like Super Power 3. 25% say that y'all don't like it. Okay, like, let's literally ban literally anything that we can get our hands on. Aha, Chechens banned. Serbians, or Siberians banned. Russians banned. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Legal. Chechens. Russians. Banned. <laughs> Food is now illegal in Russia. Energy is now illegal in Russia. No electricity. Screw all y'all. <laughs> Cut all education funding. All of y'all are idiots now. Civilian research. No. Government funding. No. $31 million to the Russian government. Only Chechens. There are only Chechens in Russia. Imagine banning the majority. <laughs> um... I like how abortion is legal in Russia. I'm gonna do the shit. Doing the shit I'm gonna do in my doing the shit I'm gonna do in my first playthrough. <laughs> Cut all education in Russia. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Can you ban religions? I believe so. Demography. Rockin' voice. There's no free media in Russia. Kill switch. No internet. Screw y'all. Chechens. We literally just banned like 85% of the of the A revolution or coup is almost inevitable. 0.6% stability, 3.9% approval. Show the ballistic missiles and time to nuke myself.
need to ban Protestantism, need to do a funny. <laughs> Next elections, no elections. I like how my instability just shot up. Russian Revolution 2.0, let's go. So what am I now? Am I a limited democracy? Am I? A dictatorship, let's go. Under the United Russia Party. What's changed? Everything's illegal. No rights, no nothing. I like how my government affinity is still the same as the population. Oh. oh. Let me see. Let me see if the, the special little ship is in here. Oh. Where are you at? Can't see it. I wanna see. Secret services. Clear armaments, enemies. Destroyer, Kirov. Where's the Moskva? Moskva. Let's go ahead and send it against Ukraine and let them sink it. What is your CPU? I have a 3700X. I have a 3700X with the graphics card 3060. I like how my economy is still not in a deficit. Most of my money coming from illegal. Healthcare. You guys need healthcare? No, you don't. Education is illegal. Luxury? No. No technology in Russia. Anything. What are you thinking? Yeah, I remember playing as Russia in Super Power 2 and I would always deactivate the, uh, I would, like, literally eliminate, like, half of my nukes to, to, to to get money as Russia. Why is my stability 21%? <laughs> Hang on. Alright, last ditch effort. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Civilian. Oh, screw you. No. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I was told by the devs I could do this. Takes a while for a revolution, yeah. <laughs> I tried to nuke myself. <laughs> Ban oxygen. That's the one thing I haven't banned yet. All right, who should I nuke first? Ying Mo, who should I nuke? Nuke us, China? North Korea, South Korea? I do like this game. I like it. The 
legalize drugs. Ah, yes, the only thing that shall be legal in Russia. No, wait, I'm gonna leave chemicals. Alcohol, no, no alcohol in Russia. I literally still have a positive balance. Y'all started saying countries, and I felt totally forgot that I asked y'all who I who I should nuke. Economy seems kind of basic. It, it was a it was basic in Superpower Two. Outlaw food already did. Alcohol in Russia equals revolution. <laughs> How old is this build? Six months. It's 400 changes behind. Japan round three. <laughs> Secret services build. We are going to. Right, let's let's hit China. How? Let's go. Let's go. Based. Yo. Do it. Let's go. Check my email to see if I got any uh, giveaway codes. Not yet. Let's see. Yeah, not yet. Still waiting for giveaway codes. There's no mad protocol. Um, Again, like, if you see, I only killed, like, 400 million people with that. Um, it, it, again, it's... Wait, 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 right here. Look at that. 6.2 million civilians and 1.157,000 military personnel have died. Um, that has been fixed. That has been fixed. Um... So tomorrow's build, when you see, when you guys see it, um, I, I that is going to be completely fixed. Only four hundred million. <laughs> you, that that should that number should be around like the seven hundred millions or something like that. It should be a lot more. Um, what else? Still waiting for a revolution to kick off. We've had a consistent 200 people watching this. Thank you guys. Popularity went up. <laughs> I 
I really wish there was a multiplayer match going on right now. You have to manually control your army and or can the AI control for you. I think you I can think the AI can control for you. No one's hosting right now. There is a someone that is supposed to host. Um Playing Super Fire 2 and watching your stream at the same time. Let's go. Um, there is there's possibly someone who's preparing to host. I don't know. Unless uh, maybe the devs maybe want to host or something. If there is anyone uh, that that has it, that is probably a content creator watching this. Um, I don't I I don't I don't even know if that's gonna even work. Let's try someone else. Is this a super power to reskin with slightly less economic sectors? It's really not a reskin. Some people are calling it a reskin. I would really not call it a reskin. Honestly. I was like three when Super Power 2 dropped. I was like how old was I? I was six. Six. Yeah. I was about six years old. Let's try, let's try one of the scenarios. I haven't tried one of the scenarios yet. Nuclear Iran, so each of these countries that you play as has its own interests. So that's the best thing about these scenarios is that you're actually going after the interests of your country and that's how you win. One Belt, One Road, Taiwan Invasion, so the United the United States is actually not in here. The island Taiwan must prepare for war and seek the support of powerful allies. Taiwan, State South Korea, Japan, and Australia. So Japan increased military philosophy to ten ten percent towards militarism. Is this turn-based or real-time? Real-time. Jordan. I'll try Jordan after I do one of these scenarios. United States. No treaties. What's North Korea's role in the Taipei scenario? I like how he keeps calling it Taipei. North Korea, sign an alliance with China, sign an alliance with Russia, support China to play by declaring war on Taiwan, maintain control of the capital of Pyongyang, maintain control of North Hamyang's province, maintain control of Kwanwandu, Kangwandu, and if failure conditions, be at war with China, be at war with Russia. Crimea's crisis, divided country on one side, we have most powerful countries pro-West, on the other side, we have pro-Russia Crimea. In 2014, a referendum was held resulting in Crimea being attached to Russia, which was heavily criticized by the international community. And so Ukraine's role is defend, prevent the takeover of Crimea, prevent the takeover of Donetsk and Luhansk, prepare for war, military strength up 10%, import 15 million worth of gas from Canada, 15 million worth of gas from the United States, and import 15 million worth of gas from Norway, increase propaganda budget by 20%. Haiti's crisis. Um, Bradley, thank you so much for becoming a member. Let's go. And someone else donated a minute ago. That was Maximo, and that was... Who else? Someone else donated earlier, and I might have missed it. Maximo, thank you so much for becoming a Vitus member. Thank you. 
game you prefer, Power of Revolution or Super Power 3? Detail-wise, Power and Revolution. Game-wise, right now, Super Power 3. <laughs> um... I want to try one of these scenarios. I'm kind of kind of lost on which one that I should do. Invest in nuclear research to gain nuclear power. Increase satisfaction toward the government 75%. Meat production $5 billion. Fuel exports to Pakistan by 50%. Poland, World War III. Huh, Poland, okay. Russia loses the region of Kaliningrad, occupied the Belarusian region of Brest, occupied the Belarusian region of Rondo. Poland gets nuked. <laughs> sign an alliance with Finland. Find a, sign an alliance to Ukraine. Which I want to show you guys this. So let's go. So if I want to search for a country, by the way, this is how you do it. So you just type in Poland and hit next. I want to show you guys a uh, peaceful annexation. I want to show you guys how that works. A random floor and then a selects Polish guy. Definitely looks Polish. Can you show Morocco, please, in a second. chance you can show us multiplayer options um there's no one hosting a game right now so i really can't otherwise i would you like the ai of the game is challenging military gameplay well I'm, i haven't really gotten used to it yet so it's a little bit of a challenge especially whenever you're just now starting out so peaceful annexation <laughs> Peaceful. Let's go. Into a NATO country. Damn it. All right, let's peacefully annex this area. Right There we go. That is lost control of a region. Okay, so they have to make sure you have to make sure that there is no military units within that region. If there are military units in that region, then it becomes contested military control. You get to pick your politi political party or ideology. Your democrat. This. Um. If I look. Where is it? This area right here is your political ideology. It's your culture aggregate but it kind of serves as your ideology. The more radical it is, the more, um, the more it kind of shifts everything. So if I wanted to come over here and then so I, so I have military units in there, it is, so that is contested region. You come over here and it shows you that there is contested region of Ukraine from Poland. I can come over here and I can immediately annex that region. So this gives, gives, this gives the player um, of that country or the AI two options. So if you want to say, <clears throat> if you want to say, okay, I don't care, leave that land, we don't want it. They can say, okay, I can, um, they can say, okay. And then it'll, um, if the country that owns it does not do anything within the time, fr time frame that, that, that it takes to annex that land, that land officially becomes part of <clears throat> that land officially becomes part of the country that annexes it. So Ukraine has, I think it's six months. I think this is the same time frame, six months for them to annex or to, to act against Poland for that land. If they do not do that, then the land officially becomes part of Poland. So I'll show you guys 
as we wait for the annexation layout. Um, I'm gonna look. What is the political and economic situation of Japan in this game? Let me look. Keep on. Oh, yeah. The Senkaku Islands. Look. So the Senkaku Islands are the Skalin Islands are, uh, are a part of one region. Literally special military operation. <laughs> one question, why units can move in under the countries without treaty of moving units and superpower two of one country? Yeah, that that that's the difference uh between superpower two and superpower three, whenever that happens. So you can notice that I did this without even declaring war. I am not at war with Ukraine whatsoever, if you noticed. I have tanks in there and I am I am annexing their land. And again, this is called a peaceful annexation. So instead of you mo moving my units into a, a, a certain piece of land, a part of Ukraine, or I could do the same thing with Belarus. So I come over here and send some units into the, let's see, what is this? This is the Brest uh, region, and it says, is under mixed military control so that means that this is contested but there are two different militaries that are in this region that can fight over it may i respond better to military intervention um I, I i think it depends on the difficulty level i'm only playing on normal right now so i think if you have a higher difficulty level i'm pretty sure the militaries would react but again watch annexation is about halfway done right now and again, I am not at war with Ukraine. So moving your units into a certain region, no longer, it no longer uh, forces you into a war. You have to officially declare war on that country in order to do that. Or that country seeing the, the situation developing, they can declare war on you because you're trying to annex their land. And then they have, this is the opportunity for them to stop you. And I can do this all day long until Ukraine reacts. So then if I wanted to say, okay, I'm going to pull out of Belarus, do that. And I'm going to go back as the United States and I'm going to show you how hilarious this can be. So I'm literally moving through Belarus to get into Ukraine's uh, Z Zetomir region. And again, you can actually see right here, you can see the flags. These are marking the capitals of the country. Belgrade, Kosovo, we have Pristana right here. The other powers negatively react to this. Relations. Possibly. I didn't really look to see what it was before. Morocco. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Morocco, it's split in two. Western Sahara is a country. I forgot about that. I meant to say that. Yeah. There is going to be a bunch of people that are going to be upset about Morocco, about Serbia, about Palestine, um, Taiwan, like it, it, it's it's kind of funny. So yeah, Morocco um, is split in two. It divides itself right up to the uh, Guelmim region and the S Samara region by uh, an RASD region. So yeah. This is all 
This is all uh, Western Sahara is its own country. Poland has completed the annexation of the region of Volhina from Ukraine. You can see that a piece of Ukraine is now missing and it is officially annexed into Poland. If you go over to your demography, you can see that Moldovans, Russo-Ukrainians, and Ukrainians now make up about 2%, 2.5% two of Poland now. Who is in charge in Afghanistan, the Taliban? No. It is the, uh, the, the, the uh, Islamic Republic of Afghanistan still. So you can actually come over here. You can see that the Islamic Republic flag is still in charge. But Catalonia, Catalonia is, um, it's, uh, is a part of Spain. Your relations with Ukraine now. Normal. Can we use drones? No. I have really bad relations with the Belarus, though. We're gonna go ahead and peacefully annex Kaliningrad. Okay, so this region is under mixed military control. But I can go into a region that is not under any sort of military control. Oh. So, okay, so I guess I can only do this to cut to uh, regions that border me. also allied with Slovakia so I think that's the reason why I'm not able to take anything from them they racked her mod <laughs> so then I can go over to the main menu I'll show you guys how hilarious that can be um, so I can go to the United States that's very bad without drones. I don't know. Can you do peaceful unification with another country without land grabbing through diplomatic relations? Um, I think you would have to move troops into that region and then make sure that they don't have a military present in that region, and then you can annex it. So peaceful unification, I don't know, necessarily. Okay, well, so you guys are going to laugh at this. Watch. <laughs> Some of y'all are going to be mad. <laughs> um, so I can come over here to Shanghai. And then I can come over here to... No. Crap. Okay. Get this guy right here. Let's go. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bug. I do have nuclear ranges. So that is now under my control. Ah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Clear range and get rid of it. Okay. Send bra. Okay, grab you. There we go. Send you to Shanghai. Or Shanghai. Right here. I think Shanghai goes a little bit too far up north. I don't remember the Shanghai region. 
So we're literally invading China at this point. Do they have a Kurdish mod for superpower three? I need it. Why? About them. Ooh, that's what I want to do is Turkey real quick. I want to annex northern Iraq. I was working on economics in weak countries. I have not tried weak countries yet. Again, guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I am the first streamer to play Superpower 3 on YouTube. I am the one, the only one that is streaming it right now. So if you guys are enjoying everything that you're watching right now, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. I would love for you guys to subscribe to me. I am eagerly heading toward 7,000 subscribers. So if you guys can subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Greenland marketed strange... Marked strange, like it's militarily occupied by Denmark, like the first superpower. Yeah, see, they're importing a lot of stuff from Superpower 1, and no, Greenland is a part of a superpower of, a, of Denmark. The AI reacts more, much more. The press build, yeah. So I just got a message from. Um, so this has been fixed. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was going to be fixed, but it's still hilarious to preview. So what I am showing you guys right now, 250 likes. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's get up to 300 likes, please, 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 please. I am, I too am streaming, but it has no views. Oh, I'm sorry, man. These are my viewers. No, no, don't advertise your streams in here. What are you talking about? Um, so I just got a message from Jean-René Couture. Again, whenever I refer to Jean-René, um, he is the lead developer of uh, of uh, uh, Superpower 3, and he's the CEO of Golem Labs. He is the lead. He was also the lead developer and CEO of Golem Labs back whenever they made Superpower 2. So um, he is apparently watching. So if you guys want to say hi to him, say hi. Hi, John. How are you? <laughs> he's laughing at me right now he's just like wow you are stupid um he's laughing at me he's calling me dumb i'm not calling him dumb you're amazing jean renee thank you so much again for working with me for this um so apparently this has been fixed that um they do not react like this so they are way more reactive to um peaceful annexations than they are right now and he said um so he said, now the AI reacts much more to peaceful annexations. The press build was a little too peaceful. So this, again, this is the press press build. This is what they wanted um, the content creators to preview. And in that way, um, the, the, the build that is coming out tomorrow that you guys are going to be able to get your hands on, um, there is, it is completely different from what I am previewing right now. So tomorrow we're going to check out the differences, everything like that. Again, it is completely different. The build you guys are about to get your hands on is way better than what I am showing you guys right now. I haven't even tried it. This is just the press build. So uh, we're annexing this right now. I'm gonna step away for like two seconds. I'll be right back, but I'm gonna step away real quick. So uh, I'll, I'll step away. I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. Let's see if we annex them yet. We have not. We are about halfway through our annexations. Um, our time, guys, the overlord has left us. <laughs> uh, no, I am back. I'm not going to leave you guys just sitting here looking at a blank screen. Asia, East Asia. I think I'm, I really like the flags. I really like that about uh, Power and Revolution, where they kind of had the flags and everything. I wonder if there's a way... Why is China not defending their land again? Um, I, I, before I left, um, <clears throat> they're going to be mods for moon colonization. That would be really cool. Why is China not defending their land? Um, again, the main thing is that apparently, uh, obviously, <laughs> um, the AI was way too peaceful, and he said that this has been fixed in the official build. So again, the version that I am playing right now is completely different from what you guys are going to be playing tomorrow. So this is again the this is the press build. This is what they sent the content creators um to preview today. This is October 6th. The game has not come out yet. And just like I, I was told earlier, Jean Rene did tell me that this is 400 changes behind. Not the, uh, this is not 400 versions or something. I said something like that, but I got confused on how it worked. Um, so there are like 400 more changes that have been made since the press build was made. The press build version is a little more buggy. It's a little more, un it's kind of a little unstable every now and then. Um, so it's this is sort of an early build <clears throat> again we're waiting for the annexations of shengdong and shanghai to complete stop streaming it just telling me to stop streaming <laughs> United States has completed the annexation of Shandong from China. So look at that. And we now have colonies in China. Ah, uh, yes. Is there a Syrian civil war? There is not. So I can go over to my demography. I just jumped 100 million people because I now have 27% of my country now is Han Chinese. Wow. The 333 million, my population literally just jumped 100 million people, 125 million people. They didn't say if this is, this is not official release. Good. Good lord, guys. This is not official release. The official release, I, I'm trying to reiterate that as much as I can for you. This is not what you go, you guys are going to get tomorrow. This is not, again, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I'm not being paid to say any of this. I wish I was being paid. The only payment I'm getting is from the donations that I'm making on this stream. Tomorrow is the official build. This is a preview build that is older than what they have right now. And I've asked them this. I tried to get like a like a current version of the current build that they're about to release. I didn't really have the chance to do that. So I have what they gave me. 
I am not being paid to say anything good about this game. The anything I say is my opinion and my opinion alone. I will tell you if I'm being paid for it. Unless I have to sign an NDA for that. I don't know how that works. I've never been paid by a game company to preview their game. I do that on my own. Because I like content. I like to make content for you guys. So... I'm not being paid to say anything nice about this game. I, I'm telling you where it has faults. It's a hit and miss. I, it, it is a very hit and miss game. As a sequel to Super Power 2, I like it. It is not going to be early access. This is a full game release. And I ask, I actually ask them that. I actually ask them that, and I believe it would tell you on the game page if it was. So that's actually something that I noticed about Terra Invicta. I actually was a little bit interested in Terra Invicta until I realized that it was an, it was an early access game. This is a full release. This is not early access. It is not going to be early access anything like that this is full-on release tomorrow no early access no nothing no surprises whatever just tell us how long ago this build was made um I, they don't really tell me how long ago this build was made but so if john renee if you're watching this how long ago was this made all I can tell you guys is that this is an old build. This is what they sent the content creators. I even know a content creator that, that got one. It was a conglomerate. And and he basically told me that he wasn't playing it because it, it, it wouldn't work for him. You please downscale the rip reviews will be brutal. Yeah, I know. Reviews are gonna be mixed, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them are gonna be positive. It's gonna be rated a lot higher than than power and revolution. He boost economic sectors. Um, yes. So basically the way that you can boost economic sectors, I can go over here, so I can go to energy for example. I can go over to investment and then I can invest $31 billion into, into that. And then over time, it's not an immediate effect. Over time, it, it, it creates more production. One should have they should have pressured it to make it EA or early access. That's what you're saying. Yeah, this build was made more than a month ago. Is what I was just now told by the lead developer. Not easy being famous. Um I talk way too much, probably. I'm more just kind of like, this is the main reason for this stream, is I'm mainly trying to kind of get a lot of questions out of the way. try this still no multiplayer games that I can see do you think it's better than Super Power 2 a little bit let's go Canada. <clears throat> Are there any cheat codes? Not a, not that I know of.
I haven't even tried a Terra Invicta, honestly. Political event, there is a political event. Moving politically to the right. Ooh, I wonder why. There's, oh, that's what I was gonna do. I wanna try something like this. Turkey, so I wanted to play Turkey. Build up military strength. Build up the military strength. Um, let's try it. New Sultan of Turkey. There's no United Nations in the game. There is NATO. Um, most of the alliances in the game, like the CSTO, um, NATO, um, it's like, I can't remember the name of it, but there's like a gigantic string of alliances in, uh, between the United States and South America. Restore Ottoman Empire hype, let's go. Okay, so, if I wanted to look... Here it is. I am playing... Oh, it even shows you the player under that scenario. Build up the military strength by increasing the total units value of 55%. Take military control of Armenia and Cyprus Island. Can you give country sanctions? Yes, so I can come over here create an embargo that was a new treaty and I can embargo Armenia give it three min minutes he'll pick another nation <laughs> this is just a general gameplay like it's So we are going to go to war. Belarus is declared. What? Oh, crap, I forgot they were a part of the CSTO. <laughs> now I'm going to go to war with Russia. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, shit. Why is everyone going to war with Tajikistan? Oh, crap. I just started World War III. <laughs> embassy in Turkey. Let's go. So it's literally just the NATO CSTO war. working of economics and resources better than superpower 2 it's about the same or maybe a little bit better i like the investment tool it's better than the increased production so you don't have like these in multiplayer you don't have like these overpowered chinas like we used to have so it's 
<clears throat> the, uh, it, it's 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 pretty much almost a little bit better. I think it was still a very bad call to release it during the same month as Becky Three. Yeah, competition's competition. Let's go down here. We're trying to take over all of uh, Armenia right now. I mean, there might be a way for me to lower the how big the uh, the thing is. Might be say sets to elements. Auto target is flag. Probably not. Again, everything is uh, editable with mods. It's not too bad. I mean, I can still see everything. It's not really that bad. At least to me. Some people, it might be different. to send a jet intercept him. We're going to engage in a dogfight right here. There you are. Crap, no, why am I invading the Artsakh? Oh, he's running into the Artsakh. Yeah, let's go. Crap. No. No, 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 no. Okay, destroy him and let's get let's get out of here. I don't want to invade. We're literally invading Azerbaijan right now. Let's move them back up to Armenia. Take them out. There you go. The war is over. Go ahead and uh, move my troops out of of uh, Azerbaijan if I can. Hey, what's up, Wu? They still look like edible mushrooms. Not as big as they were whenever we first saw them, though. You ceasefire. Let's see, Rajon.
Why do I have so many regions of the Azerbaijan? Okay, I'm going to withdraw most of my units. Trying to remember how to pull out. You puppet? I don't think so. There was a way you could... It was kind of considered a puppet option in Super Power 2, but it wasn't officially. Get out of there. Azerbaijan, I want nothing to do with you. That's your regions. We're allied with you, man. War is a little bit better than superpower or uh, power and revolution. I like the war mechanics. Should there be an annex all right uh, thing? Yeah, probably. Man's peace with Azerbaijan. Yeah, I need to see what is my current relations with them right now. Just see what my relations are. Yeah, for some reason, I just took control of the Nagorno Karabakh region. I didn't mean to. Wait, 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 wait. NX ceasefire. Give their regions back. Over here. Super Power 3 Conga <laughs> Armenia gameplay. We got some people from the Neo community in here. Sixteen, move and attack. I launch an airstrike against the Russians in Georgia. Still waiting to see if I do get any sort of giveaway codes. Again, I'll make sure to give that to some some of y'all. If I get it on stream, if not, then I'll just wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be full gameplay, multiplayer. We're going to be playing multiplayer. This is just kind of me just showing off a lot of the features. Um, could you put a country in the political pressure if the country doesn't accept your treaty? That's actually, I think, you should, I think you can still do that. I need to try that out real quick. So if I come over to political, I can go to international. I can propose a new treaty. So I can go over here. Next. Ceasefire, peace, human development. So I've wanted to pressure for an embargo. So I can do the first country. Let's pick Azerbaijan. 
And the second country could be that they embargo Russia. They not advantageous to the other country. So you can still sponsor. My annexations are pretty much done. Superpower five, guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and say superpower ten, superpower X. I want my superpower ten, guys. We've we've been waiting long enough for superpower ten. Let's go. Let me show Somalia how they implement their civil war. Civil wars do not exist. Um, Syria is not under a civil war. Completed the annexation. So apparently there are not, there's some regions that are not under. Oh, it tells you the region. Okay, okay, okay. I get it now. Uh-oh. Hang on. I have an idea. F-16. Launch an airstrike. Go away. Go away. Go, go, go away. No. What are you doing? Why are you invading Georgia? No. Go. Go back. <laughs> no. We just we just invaded Georgia. I do like the gameplay. Call me by my cell phone. Yeah, I'm gonna give out my number on stream. Insurgency represented in any way except the DPR and LPR, the Taliban, etc. Apologies if you answer this question. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh hell. Hell no. I like how I like how Georgia's just like the middle ground between Turkey's and Russia's conflict right now. Guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Because half the stream became a spiffing Brit exploit video. What does that mean? This is the first time y'all play I played it. Anyone's played it. It's more of an introduction. Finally, the AI does something. I know, right? tank against like 20 helicopters uh oh uh oh they're coming for me no no I like how just all of them just died right there
these guys back into Turkey. But I do like, I mean, look at this. You can literally see like how useful attack helicopters are now. Cause I have no anti-air defense right now and they are just wasting a lot of my ground forces. There's so many Russias, Russians in the chat right now and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Here we are. That's what I need to get. I need to get my troops over there because I can get them. Um... There's your Air Force, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to get him. Plus, I have some of the Air Force right here. They don't do automatic things. It seems like I have to kind of like order them to do it. Weird. just treat. Get him out. You can see this guy like come in and launch an attack. Okay, so he's destroyed. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm losing so many troops, because I'm not even utilizing that much of my Air Force. So I'll get two attacks going on this Russian helicopter. Okay, so he's down. is Bosnia. Let's go. Okay, so you can utilize I'm gonna launch another attack. Okay, so I got both of them. I'm pretty sure there's an option for micro. Okay, so let me select all of these and let me see. Default combat behavior, select troop. So these are strategies right here. Same thing that I need to do right here. I'm pretty sure there's not that much micromanagement that you don't have to worry about. Some of it. Just 
just died. What's going on here? The Battle of Istanbul just... I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. That was weird. Probably the communication time. A lot of older units. Strike him. Strike him. I love this feature right here. And he just kind of swoops in. Oh. Smack him. There you go. So literally one hit from a jet on a helicopter and you can take him down. Nuclear bombarding cause any disaster. There is radiation that is implemented. It's kind of accounted for, uh, we call it, uh, pollution in the game. You stream Super Power 2 multiplayer today. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I don't really know anyone that's playing multiplayer right now. <laughs> Someone said, can I play, can I run this on four gigabytes of RAM? <laughs> I'm reading some of the community chats. Hi, Neo community. How are y'all? Regular, regular superpower community and the Neo community. There's literally battles taking place in... In Europe. And the reason you see me kind of jump in between countries, like, again, I'm not, this isn't a full gameplay. It, we're just checking out a lot of the, uh, of the features. Like, it, it, you're going to see me jumping again from country to country. Some of you are like, wah, stop jumping. It said I will host Super Power 2. I'm playing Super Power 3, my guy. He made fun of my friend about the four gigabyte thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was funny. Is there any buildings, highways, tracks that can be placed in the game? I don't think so. So I have 156 people watching this. Two thousand five hundred and eighty-two people have watched this live stream. Thank you all for watching this with me today. Is it possible to form the Roman Empire as Italy? Probably. You just have to deal with the modern day demographics of all those regions. Hi, Woo. Hi, Vatnik. Hi, Koilu. Ariel. You show how to grow the economy. We're actually going to try to implement some sort of... Okay, we're going to get India out of a deficit. Playing as the Janata party. Checking some of the discords. And come over here. We're going to grow India's economy. We're going to start off with the 15% tax across the entire economy. We're going to pause it. 
We're going to put a 15% tax on all of our privatized sectors. If we need to nationalize it, we will. So again, for those who are watching it right now, what are you guys' thoughts on Super Power 3? Do you guys like it? Do you think it's trash? Do you think it's like, eh? Like what? what is your overall thoughts on the game? And that's some people, as some people are literally saying that it, it's simplified, um, economy simplified. Super Power 2 never had a, had an advanced economy. It never did. Like, maybe y'all were expecting it to be, like, more advanced. Maybe. I mean, it does seem a little bit more advanced. Not, you know, to the effect of... It, it's not advanced to the effect that it will rival the advanced... How advanced the economy is on on a uh, power and revolution but like I, I i don't know paradoxes and shambles long live golem labs needs improvements yeah How many sectors did a uh, supreme Ru does supreme ruler have? And and I mean, come on, superpower, not superpower. Uh, supreme ruler 2020 and supreme ruler 3030, 2030, like they look the same. The map looks the same. I haven't really seen anything about what makes superpower supreme ruler 2030 different. So, I think it looks good though. There is a parliament system integrated in the game. Politics, can I run it at 512 megabytes of VRAM? <laughs> my Victoria pre three pre-order after seeing this no way I'll be touching that now so you think this is gonna be better than Vicky like how I can still see the Turkey airports how did superpower 2 have much more like what what was the I don't know I do like the HUD. The HUD does look pretty good. Pause it. That's why my economy hasn't changed. India is running a large deficit. Of course. Of course. It's 
so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think Superpower 2 probably... So there was... 5 in Agriculture, there was 2 in Energy. I feel like there was like... So that was maybe at least 20... I'm, I'm pretty sure Superpower 2 had, like, three or four more sectors, probably. But we're around the same amount of sectors, economically. You have 22 sectors in the game. sectors 22 resources yeah so there's three of them but there was like i think like six different sectors that you could look at along with like i'm pretty sure it was like 22 to 26 economic sectors whenever you opened all of them up So it analysis. Some military. I'm gonna look at some of the military. I'm gonna design some units. No, we're not gonna be too size on the naming so here's the level two and level three. Oh, i didn't put range on it <laughs> am i up oh, there we go okay If there's no consequences for nuclear attacks, MAD, MAD, that's going to be an easy strat to preemptively nuclear strike a country. There is consequences for it. Um, again, 400 changes behind. I I know for sure that they that they fixed it. Deficit is still going up. Someone, someone made a meme of like all those Russian helicopters just, just crashing at my at my tank. Oh, that was that was amazing. Whoever made that, that's amazing. Where does it show your debt? So I come over here and it says my debt total is $668 billion. And then we make a, a yearly payment of $33.4 billion. And this changes as you accue more debt. Can you show us aircraft design? Yes. That's what else I need to see. I need to go over to Secret Services and I want to I wanna test this out. So 
going to select Pakistan, and we are going to do a sabotage. Complexity. We're going to do 85, and we're going to start. Over to military, we're going to go over to forces, or technology, we're going to go over to aircraft design. Unknown designs, attack aircraft. Build them if I want. So I go over here to build and deploy. Attack aircraft. I can order 200. Whoa. Oh, I don't want 1200. I confirm my order. What am I missing? Oh, it's probably because I don't have any available funds. Yeah, I think that's why. So, go to sectors if I wanted to. Yeah, this is all based on the amount of funds that you have. So fight AI with just tanks without needing soldiers. No, apparently it's, um... It's all kind of changed in which like they kind of like connect to each other so like if they have helicopters and you only have troops or vice versa it it's kind of one-sided Checking some of the discords. Yeah, and and again, someone said uh, the economy has improved but needs more sectors. Um, oh, that's really cool. Look at that. You can actually see the border between India and Pakistan. <laughs> One of the most visible borders you can see from space. Um, like the the worker mechanic is the is the biggest change of a mall. So basically, you have workers for each of these sectors. So it's going to be a lot harder if you want to say like, okay, I want to focus on tourism, or I want to focus on secondary production, or I want to focus on this or that. You actually have to kind of like analyze your your education budget accordingly. So it says over here, raising the post will generate more educated population. This affects the availability of workers in economic sectors, as not every aspect of the economy require the same levels of education. The more educated the population is, the more it moves professionally from first tier economic sectors toward the second and third tiers. So depending on the current mock-up of your economy and your future goals, investing more in education might not necessarily be the best choice. Also be aware that it has a limited effect on the stability. But at the same time, like when once the mods start coming out for Super Power 3, like you're gonna be able to add as many sectors as you want. You can add cars, you can add um marijuana, you can add literally anything. I'm pretty sure. You're gonna be able to scroll down, you're gonna be able I'm pr I'm pretty sure you can add more sectors as the game develops, and you're gonna be able to download like like the, the, the car manufacturing sector. This is just the base game, and I mean, I don't even have mods installed. There's no mods available for this yet. How do I balance the budgets? Okay, so cut. Civilian research. Telecommunications.
and by marijuana i'm meaning like like an, a sector named marijuana so like there's gonna be a lot of changes also by the way this is the cool part so if you can act, you can actually go over and hover look at it and say oh they started an annexation I need to figure out if I can export anything. Bro, I'm literally dying right here. Changes to private, we're gonna tax at 25%. Yeah, I'm spending $390 billion on trade. We're going to privatize a lot of stuff. Probably why I'm not able to do stuff is because I don't have a privatized economy. It's public. What else do I need to privatize? I'm still waiting for the manual to come out, so <laughs> I'm gonna be reading the hell out of the manual. Tax the hell out of your people, yeah. Need to have funds to invest or produce units. You can't make debt. Um, at least not right now, you cannot. Bet this 400 more build version is almost the same. Um, I don't, I don't know. Find out tomorrow. I really haven't played it. So you have debt. So you, you can see right here that I do have debt. Which that, yeah, that is the thing. Start accumulating debt, too much debt, and the country will become insolvable. I'm, God, I'm spending $106 billion on corruption. I mean, I can come over to government. Yeah, well, actually, it won't cost me that much more to invest in it, and then I can start reducing how much I'm spending on corruption. Or at least losing on corruption. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. I'm only making 56. Okay. I'm gonna do exactly what I did in Superpower 2. I, I literally would just tax the sectors 30%. It might hurt my economic growth, but we'll see. There's a lot of stuff that I still don't know about this game. Kind of, it's still kind of like a first preview. 
Um, I've been training myself as much as I can, so I sort of understand the complexity. Foreign aid to zero. Oh yeah, why am I why am I giving out foreign aid? So wood. Wood minerals. 30%. The devs are probably looking at this and being like, dude, what are you doing? I don't know, man. It worked on superpower too. government control sector is less efficient in the game it actually increases your production the game fun yeah i really want to play some multiplayer i tried to get a multiplayer game going um i tried to invite a couple other uh content creators out there um i never really got a response back so I'm gonna have to change the title of this uh, this video, and then tomorrow it's 100% gonna be multiplayer. My unemployment is going up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this poll and I'm gonna ask another poll to see what you guys' thoughts are. That way it's kind of like more accurate. Because I did pull that poll about an hour ago. So I'll get another opinion from you guys. Okay, so higher taxes on your sectors hurts it way more. So I actually just expanded my deficit because of the because of all of that. So I didn't really gain anything out of it. Got a little bit more in trade, but maybe this will require an economic tutorial. So they fix government controlled sectors from being crap. Um, so government controlled sectors, basically they do contribute to your, um, what do you call it, corruption. So having a government controlled sector, there's a couple of benefits to it because you can actually create um, trade agreements with other countries. But the downside to it is that it does contribute to your corruption. Raise taxes, the companies leave for lower tax economies. Come on, man, economics 101. <laughs> yeah. Reduce taxes a little bit. So we're gonna do 32. Yeah, 
and my deficit my deficit is a trillion dollars now planned economy is the way communism let's go units still stay after combat when even if when they're destroyed the co economy is too easy to break buying units on black market breaks the game depending on volume i can go on game at VAT it's actually what it tells you so if you look over here <clears throat> um, personal the personal taxes represent everything in the country generates from citizens through income taxes for, through income taxes fees sales tax etc etc the rate can be modified by the player but normally no matter the culture every social group prefers lower taxes than higher taxes implement juice Implement the juice. <laughs> Capped at one unit at a time for production. Are you really? Hang on. Ooh. Oh yeah, I don't have money. <laughs> Can you do isolationism like in Vicky 3, meaning no imports or exports? I think you would have to go through and nationalize all your economic sectors and then literally delete every trade deal that you have. Might be wrong, but didn't you say this build of the game was 400 builds? For 400, it changes behind the current one. So the, the version that we're getting tomorrow that y'all are going to be able to play is completely different from this one. Like, peaceful annexation, it's not as easy as I'm making it look. Um, <clears throat> it, it, it's... It, it's it's going to... The version that y'all are going to get is going to be different there's going to be a lot more changes a lot more kind of things that have been maybe added or changed or lowered or increased whatever Nuclear Nadal is in the chat. Let's go. How are you? <clears throat> How does interest work? Uh, are you talking about interest on your debt? We're gonna try a couple other countries and then we're gonna we're gonna call it quits for the stream. Maybe I'll stream again later tonight if I can get a multiplayer game set up. Um Buh, buh, buh. Where are they? So we're gonna try. <laughs> Let's play as a Hindi <laughs> in Israel. <laughs> New Zealand. Let's go. Why is it so vague? Which one? W which part is vague? You want this? I've nuked like three times in this game. <clears throat> I will only nuke if you guys get me up to 300 likes on this video. Oh, that's just the region I clicked. 
make a Gandhi character and nuke everybody. <laughs> the AI doesn't react. Yeah, again, they fixed the AI reaction. I have that confirmed by the lead developer himself. Okay, so over here, okay, so I believe horses build and deploy. Let me see how many I can build. So I have like $36 billion that I can mess with right now. So build cost 90,000, build 40 million. Let's do 10,000. I do 999,000. You can only do a max of 10,000. Let's do that. And then let's do like 150 of the Merkava 2. Huh. Yeah, we can only build one at a time in this version. How does interest... What are you talking... I don't... I don't... <laughs> Interests is... I don't see interest. It's right here. Yearly payment, $4.4 .4 billion on a total debt of $88.2 billion. It's nuke rack. Do I have nuclear weapons? <clears throat> The other thing, too, is that if you actually click on a country, so if I can click on Iran, it shows their nuclear weapons status right here. So you can see their rank in the world by military, their nuclear status, and, and I think this is like our building. Um, you can see that they are a nuclear power state, but they do not have nuclear weapons. So if you want to come over here to like Israel, for example, you can see that we are a nuclear power state. By the way, you can actually see the Gaza. Or what is that? Nazareth? It's not Nazareth. The Northern District Nazareth. Yeah. Okay, so that's it's the Golan Heights. What I was trying to say. Trust me, they're not just listening to me. <clears throat> they're not just listening to me. They're listening to all of you. If you guys have gripes about this game, make it known. They're listening. They are very attentive toward a lot of this, and I've seen it. It's like how Eversim is finally kind of stepping up their game in the past year. Mess with currency that decided early on to move multiple currencies. Yeah, they did. Re they re did remove the idea of multiple currencies. So it's kind of like everyone does share the same currency. And they said it was like a nightmare of processing. So they just didn't do it. Is Suez working? See the Suez right here. You can see the region that kind of. Well, ah, uh, look at that. Is Malia kind of like extends past the, the 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 Suez. I mean, if you wanted overall control of the Suez, that would make sense. But at least Israel can go in here and take the uh, the Sinai Peninsula. Let me zoom in on some cities. If I can zoom in right here. You can see Central District Ramallah, Ramla. See Ramla, Tel Aviv. Yeah, currencies would probably, just like in Power and Revolution, it makes sense for Power and Revolution to do it because Power and Revolution is a is a is a, a economic simulator. Like it's sort of an economic simulator. Um, in here, I, I'm, I kind of agree. I, I agree with what he said.
and and yeah um jay martin has a point so he says it needs to be in early access that's the best recommendation i would give they haven't given you a list of what changes in 1.0 so we can only go on what we see and it's incomplete yes i absolutely agree that's why i tried to kind of try i kind of tried to tell him i said if you guys want me to preview the the, the full-on game version that we're getting I would like to because a lot of people are not gonna like it because it it's gonna look incomplete what you're watching right now yes it is incomplete this is um this is a month old build um give me one second Um, I don't know if I was muted for that. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a month old build. So I absolutely understand a lot of the gripes that people are saying right now. It looks old. Like it's a month old build. So I absolutely know where everyone is coming from. I'm hoping there's going to be, and I'm, there's again, there's going to be a lot of changes that we see tomorrow. Alice time played through a multiplayer go off. <laughs> Maybe show off the demography tad and Bert Israel and be more Palestinian. Oh yeah, that's that's basically what you can also do. So you can actually come over here. You, you can literally ban every other uh, social group. <clears throat> I think early access would be a better route. <sighs> it's not like they're not gonna continue adding stuff. There's gonna be DLCs, there's gonna be changes. Like, it's not going to be like Superpower, or I keep getting all these geopolitical games mixed up. It's not going to be like Geopolitical Simulator where, you know, we're only getting an update once a year. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting updates. Um, John Rene, or any dev that can DM me right now, if you can tell me how often is, how often will the game be updated, if you can tell me? Um... I don't know if any of the devs are still watching right now. So I'm looking through some of the discords, trying to see what everyone else is saying. I want nuclear bombers in the game. So there are three ways that you can chain that you can uh, deliver nukes in this game, which is ICBMs. I don't think nuclear. I don't think strategic bombers are able to launch nuclear attacks, from what I know. Nuke Russia is the United States. You have, oh, I did get 300 likes. God, that's amazing. Let's go. All right, guys, if you are watching, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're going to go ahead and nuke someone. Who should I nuke? That's the question. Should I nuke Palestine? Iran? Russia? I really like the 3D map. That's what I really like about it the most. I want to check. I want to check what my subscribers have done today. Like how many subscribers I've made. Um, since we're Israel, we're going to go ahead and do what we were made to do. So I want to see this real quick. So I have 10,000 troops that are about to deploy. I really hope that changes. I really want like, like in Superpower 2, we were able to build like 250,000 troops at a time. 
we were able to embark in some pretty <laughs> massive military buildups. Okay. Cost $900 million. That was 10,000 troops. New unit deployed. There you are. And I really like this. Look at that. Damn, look how fast they move. I really like how close you can get and kind of micromanage what your military is doing. So here, <clears throat> um, DEFCON. I don't know how you change the DEFCONs. No, I don't have mil I don't have nukes. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I need to build them. I need to build them real quick. Build my nukes. I want my nukes. Damn it. You have mint. No, there's no conscription in the game. It goes off of the amount of, um... Let's see. Start new. But here's the, uh, the multiplayer, uh, thing. So you get the server name, your password, open to the internet. By the way, the, uh, the games are... The games are made for, um... But it's it the, the the server clients are through Steam, so I think it's going to be a little bit easier for you to create. <clears throat> um, let's see, let's see if there's anything on. Nope. Content creators, where are you at? Where are you at? I want I want to I want to play a game with y'all. Let me see. Is there any other person right now that's streaming Super Power Three? Yeah, oh my god, I freaking hated that. The port forwarding crap was so stupid. Like, I literally could never port forward. For one, I never even knew how to do it. And then two, like, especially with how, how much the internet has advanced, like, it is, it's so, it's not dangerous, but like, it's, like it's it's a it's just a bad idea to port forward. So you have your server name, password open to, and then your description. You have human players. I think it's like a max of thirty six in a in a in a in a in a game. And then your nuclear warfare options: so no restrictions, or war only, invasion only, or never. So no nukes. <laughs> yeah. Israel isn't confirmed to have them IRL, but they definitely have the capability. Yeah. Um, fun fact about the Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur War, um, the Yom Kippur War was actually the closest that the Israelis have ever become, have come to using nuclear weapons. That's the reason why the U.S. sent so much aid over there, like, in military, um, because they wanted to make sure that, that they weren't gonna use nukes. What is port forwarding? Basically, you would have to... Port forwarding is basically like you're opening a certain section of your internet, of your of your you your internet, your personal internet, to host this host this uh, uh, an online game, for example. Um, you're basically opening so a port. It's like you're opening a certain part of your internet. That way, you're able to um, host a game. I think I'm probably skewering how you define it. But there's a few live YouTube channels streaming Super Power 3 right now. Let me look. That's what I wanted to look for. I want to invite them to a game. There's one guy, but he's Czech.
Can you give units to a country directly? Yes. Yes, we can. Once I stop this stream, I'm gonna make a couple of like videos, mainly kind of like features. I, well, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to show it off the nuclear warfare because I really want the consequences to be shown, and it's just, it's it's just been a really bad idea for me to uh, to make content because again, I I, I really don't want to show off this this month old build as like the the main thing people are gonna be looking for. Um, but yeah, port forwarding is gone. Thank God. The biggest thing that was really bad about it is that if you port forward, if you port forward, like it gives, it, it makes hackers, it makes it a lot easier for hackers to find your IP address because that was the main, main thing is that you could literally find someone's IP address by joining their game. So if someone wanted to dox you or something like that, it says port forward is port oh, forwarding a port of your computer to the public internet. So basically you forward the port 80, everyone in the internet can access your computer by port 80. Yeah, so it's, it's basically, it's opening a certain part of your, not only your internet connection, but your, com your own computer itself. And you can, and that would give, literally give people access to your computer by a very specific port. But you would have to reveal your IP address. You would have to do a lot of different things. You would be revealing a lot of personal information that just frankly in today's um, time, you, you do not want to want to reveal any of that imp information. I certainly don't. Yeah, I see one guy that's live right now. Hang on, I think he's speaking English. Let me let me mute myself. I'm gonna try to see if this guy is interested in starting a game. I'm, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm listening to the Czech guys. If you guys can hear him. I'm listening to his stream and trying to get him into a multiplayer match. How many subscribers does this guy have? 72. Cool. Um, okay. What can you donate to your allies' armies, weapons, rifles, tanks? How does this work? Yeah. Um, God, there's so, still so much more that I need to show in here. Still watching the Czech guys stream.
Apparently there's also someone on Twitch. We're gonna try we're tr we're gonna try to do some multiplayer. We're gonna try. While we continue to watch other kind of like preview. Take advantage of that and keep moving with that. And I oh man. Oh man, I hate that, but we're gonna use them. So we're gonna look Twitch Superpower Three. Let's see who's streaming it right now. Some Italian guy. Make everything government owned. I want to mess around with this game. I'm gonna look this guy up on Twitch. You got Russians and Chinese people in here. That's awesome. Let's see. So Twitch. Maybe I still have it down. No, I don't. There are three live on Twitch. Only one English. Is it the, the um, Kino, the producer? He has 13 people watching. I found him. Boo, I have to sign in. You're in Shanghai. How are you able to watch the stream? How are you able to watch the stream? Again, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, it's trying to, I'm looking at other streamers that are streaming it right now, trying to, trying to see, we're going to browse. Super. I tried to do this before. He's illegal. Yeah, he doesn't want to play multiplayer, sadly. Categories. Let's see who else is live. Isn't there's a Polish person and then yeah, Kino the producer is really the only 
You know the producer's really the only English one that's on, uh... I guess we'll leave that alone he's afraid he'll get rolled <laughs> it's gonna be just the stalemate because i won't even know what the hell i'm doing either okay i want to see what happens okay let's add a flat five percent tax throughout my entire economy way everything's kind of balanced he's not budging damn it well if you guys if you guys are do have a twitch go ahead and go follow him and if you guys have not subscribed to me then you're not based would bring him viewers too yeah we'll do we'll do multiplayer tomorrow i guess um So I'll have to, I'll have to rip, I'll have to change the title of this, of this one, um, this, uh, video. I don't want to be clickbaity. I was hoping to get a multiplayer match in, but. I apologized for disappointing some of y'all. Not based. <laughs> I can barely even see say I, I can I can barely read Chinese, so I only recognize a couple of characters that some of y'all are that y'all are saying. I cannot wait I cannot wait to read the manual. I cannot wait to read the manual. I was literally about to change all of the commands. So, 877 billion. There are two type of Chinese characters here. So does that mean someone's from Taiwan and someone's from uh, uh, mainland? Mainland China? Civilian research, I know, is like an economic booster. So if I could fully fund civilian research, actually contributes to productivity. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, please. So there was something that I was going to check out earlier. What was it? I really love the demographic screen. Really love it. Just discovered this game. Hey, how are you, Joe Snuffy? Welcome to the stream.
I'm gonna look. I wanna see what my how many subscribers I've made in this in this live stream. Yeah, I've made over a hundred subscribers on this live stream alone. I've never seen such a sharp increase in my subscriber count. Wow. And actually, in the last two days, I'm very close to surpassing 200 subscribers. That is, that is the sharpest increase I have ever, ever received on YouTube. Okay, yeah. Um... To the left of Texas, so about Central Texas. This is your ICBMs. You can actually... I guess they're stationary. Okay, so you cannot change your ICBM locations. Okay, so I want to look at this real quick. Um, I'll launch nukes in a second. Power, and power distance and X this dimension expresses the degree to which the less powerful members of society accept and expect that power is distributed unequally. The fundamental idea here is how society in handles ine inequalities among people. People in society is exhibiting a large degree of power distance except a hierarchical order in which everybody has a place and which no needs no further justification. In societies with lower power distance, people strive to equalize the distribution of the power of power and demand justification for inequalities of power. So we have an average PDI of 40%. So the higher it is, so we're pretty equal equality driven. When will mods come out within the first couple of weeks? Individualism, the high side of this dimension called individualism can be defined as a pres pres pre preference for a loosely for a loosely knit social framework in which individuals are expected to take care of only themselves and their immediate families. Its opposite, collectivism, uh, represents a preference for a tightly knit framework in society which individuals can expect their relatives or members of a particular group to look after them in exchange for unquestioning loyalty. A society's position on this dimension is reflected in whether a per, per people's self-image is defined in terms of individualism or we. Which which one is we? Masculinity. Masculinity side of this dimension represents a preference in society for an achievement, heroism, assertiveness, and material rewards for success. Society at large is more competitive. Its opposite, femininity, stands for the preference for cooperation, modesty, caring for the weak and quality of life. Society at large is more consensus-oriented. In business context, masculinity versus femininity is sometimes also referred to as tough versus tender cultures. Uncertainty Avoidance Index. The uncertainty avoidance dimension uh, expresses the degree to which the members of society feel uncomfortable with uncertainty and ambiguity. The fundamental issue here is how a society deals with the fact that the future cannot be known. Should we try to control the future, just let it happen. Contr countries exhibiting strong UAI maintain rigid codes of belief and behavior and are intolerant and outdoor unorthodox behavior and ideas. Weak UAI societies maintain more relaxed attitude in which practice counts more than principles. Long-term orientation. Every society has to, main, has to maintain some links with its own past while dealing with the challenges of the present and the future. Societies prioritize these two existential goals differently. Societies who score low in this dimension, for example, prefer to maintain tight, time-honored traditions and norms while viewing societal change with suspicion. Those of the culture who, which scores high, on the other hand, take a more pragmatic approach. They encourage thrift and business they encourage thrift and efforts and modern education as a way to prepare for the future. In a business context, this dimension is referred to as short-term normatives versus long-term pragmatic PRA. In academic environment, this terminology monumentalism versus flex humility is sometimes also used. Um, yeah. 
the max amount of players that you can have is 32. And then the last one is indulgence versus restraint. Indulgence stands for the society that allows relatively free gratification of basic and nor natural human drives relating to enjoying life and having fun. Restraint for stands for society that uh, suppresses gratification of needs and re regulates it by means of strict social norms. So that's probably what we were trying, what we were aiming in that turkey gameplay just a second ago was mainly to lower our IVR. So of course the United States has a very high individualism. Kind of building up to War 2 in uh, in Super Power 3 is going to be fun in multiplayer, because then I can just literally send a carrier group into the into the, the Taiwan Strait. The cool thing about Japan too, by the way, it actually has prefectures. So you can see right here, you can see the Jifu prefecture. Like it's not divided up into the regions of Japan, it's divided up into its prefectures. Hiroshima, Shimane. So if I actually zoom in on Hiroshima, Hiroshima. There's a US base right here in Kure. So you zoom out like this to see the regions or the prefectures. You zoom in closer to see the cities. Kobe, Kobe, Osaka. Um, Otsu. Kawagoe. Pretty sure Yokosuke is right here. Yokohama. Yokosuke is around here. If I wanted to make an alliance, what is my relations with Taiwan? Here, Taiwan. Over to politics. So this is my relationship with Taiwan. So if I wanted to increase my relations with them, I can come over here, or I can go to Quick Treaty. Quick treaty, I can go to embassy. Opens an embassy. We're gonna do human development. We need to do a cultural exchange. Modify Unibor crossings. We have a we have a, a range of 76. So we can go over here and call it the Treaty of Taipei. We get an alliance with Taiwan. So there are three different aspects of your relationship with the country. You have your affinity, your history, and the actions, which is trades, treaties, various actions taken. No, this is not the final version. The final version I will be able to preview tomorrow. How much does Super Power 3 cost? Um, $29.99. How did you manage to zoom in to see the cities? You zoom in. Guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Jesus Christ. What are contested regions? Contested regions are basically like if I were to move, um, sorry, there was apparently someone at my door. Um, contested regions, basically I can move troops um, into a certain region. So if like Russia moves troops into Crimea, which they already have at the beginning of this game, the game starts in 2018. Um, 
Russia can move troops into Crimea and then that becomes a contested region. If the Ukrainian military withdraws, then that becomes under complete control and Russia has the opportunity to, quote, peacefully annex that region from Ukraine. Same thing, if I'm playing the United States, I showed earlier that I, I could actually move troops into the Shandong region as well as Shanghai um, and peacefully annex those regions. However, tomorrow that will be changed. So the AI is a lot more aggressive whenever you try to do that. You can do give away this game in the stream. Um, thanks for reminding me, I need to check. Oh my God. This is actually like real life news right here. President Joe Biden has pardoned everyone convicted of the mar of marijuana possession under federal law and said the US will review how the drug is classified. So everyone with a federal drug conviction that loves small amounts of marijuana or of simple marijuana possession will be pardoned. Holy crap. Um, that's what I need to check. I need to check to see if I've gotten a giveaway code. I have not received any any emails from PR. Maybe I'll receive an email tomorrow. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for four and a half hours. I could probably go another 30 minutes. This is as far as I can zoom in right here. There's a superpower to a multiplayer server up, you should join. Is that not just gonna like drag down into a... Why did I think your sentence ended at everyone did it? Pardons are free to give. So if I wanted to continue to improve relations, kind of create a ring of alliances around Around the Pacific, make some goods, you know, border crossing. So, so if I wanted to make an alliance, so 65, you need a higher relationship than that to to uh, get them to like you. So, let me give them some monetary. 790 million dollars. How much does that change? Boo, I gave you some money. Biden pardoned everyone that is uh, that was convicted of a federal marijuana charge. Dude, Maple. I have gained so many subscribers on this stream. <laughs> like September 8th, that was at 6,429. Right now I am at 6,735. On October 4th, I was at 6,591. Up, oh, someone unsubscribed. <laughs> right as I said that, someone unsubscribed. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, that's what I was gonna, someone asked this, someone literally asked this, so military hardware, so the United States gives so much 
uh, of whatever to the Philippines. So I can go over here, attack aircraft. I give him some F-22s. And then I can ask for a monetary amount. So I can say, pay me a billion dollars for it. And it gets rejected. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and nuke someone. <laughs> um, I wanna see, yeah, just like uh, someone literally said, like, um, I'll ask, I'll ask uh, John Rene something real quick. Um, all right, I just asked if uh, John Renee has the manual, and I also asked him if I if there's a change log that I can discuss or present on uh on stream before i go so this was really cool i like that you can actually give weapons over to them Uh, you can only give one military hardware to them now. Military technology. <gasps> Here you are. So you can still trade military technology. Oh, this is lo this looks a lot better than Superpower 2. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That looks so much better than Superpower 2. Okay, so uh, John Rene basically said, so a full change log, not handy right now. No, um, you need to compile it from the commit notes. Um, and then I, want to I wanted the manual published today, but THQ still has it under review. So I'm pushing, not sure whenever it'll be greenlit. So he's still waiting on the manual to be greenlit. So hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to present the manual to you guys. I know, right? You can literally hang on. I can give nukes to Taiwan. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Is the lag really that hard? It's not. Is it because the, the music keeps cutting off? Is that what it's doing? Um, if it's because the music keeps cutting off, that's me. I have like three monitors, dude. So I have like one on the right, one on the left, and I'm, I'm clicking back and forth sometimes. So if you hear the music cutting in and out, that's why.
donate equips to others. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that you could actually like uh, give weapons. You can. I literally just gave him 150 mobile launchers for free. Let's go. A lot of people are trying to get me into a Super Power 2 server. <laughs> I'll go I'll I'll join this Super Power 2 server before I go today. Um that way I can compare some of the economy over. I'm gonna love this game so much. I think I think a lot of you guys are gonna like it. Like a lot of people I mean I literally just lost two hundred viewers <laughs> this entire time. I had a peak of like three almost four hundred viewers. Um I really th you can think you can literally give them nukes, not just the tech. Yes, let's give him some Minuteman missiles. <laughs> like, I, I I I genuinely think that a lot of you guys are gonna like it. Some of it, some some people, it's gonna make it's gonna take a little bit for you guys to get used to it. See if this guy disappears. One of them did. Yo, let's go. I do like the new mushroom clouds. It took a little bit to get used to. Y'all would have like I'm glad they got rid of the 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 other the other one. The the big one that we saw like over Afghanistan. Is Israel a nuclear power in this game? Yes, but they do not have any nukes. I wonder how multiplayer chat. I know that's what I want to see. That's where I really what I want to see. thought I'd say that but this is actually kind of pretty yeah it looks pretty and this is actually how you end wars so watch this there's peace and there's ceasefire so I can sign ceasefires with every country that just declared war on me PC can't handle the I'm pro I probably have the most powerful computer out of all of y'all don't even try me I like the music. Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. I want to try this real quick. That way... I want to try this real quick to see if this works. So, peace, ceasefire. So we're going to do Tajikistan. Oh, okay, yeah, I can't do two of the same treaty. A nuke you too. Just for funsies. Let's see if we can nuke them. Shit. Use all our nukes. Oh, I have nukes. Civilians, go away, Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> I do not have a stream deck, so I won't even be able to. Hang on, hang on, I have an idea. 
ceasefire before the nukes even hit. <laughs> They do look pretty. Now let's see what that did to our arable land. And look at that, you can actually see they're trading partners too. Fixed balances. Again, tomorrow's version is gonna you're gonna see a much more drastic effect on the economy. There are no drones in the superpower two, three. Ugh. POV Kiev next week, Jesus Christ. Please check if Turkey has a TB2. They do not have drones. No, there are no drones in Super Power 3. Work hard and buy a 4090. <laughs> yeah, I need a 4090. Of all the things, I need a 4090. To do some peaceful annexations before we go. All right, see you, Nathan. Thank you so much for joining. We're gonna go into Superpower Two before we go. I want to join that multiplayer game. Wait, why am I war? Oh shit, I'm at war with Mexico. <laughs> Can I nuke him? Mexico. Mexicanos. Mexico. I, st I still have a bunch of nukes. Ah. Yo, let's go. <laughs> so if I lose an election, it's game over? Yes. All right, Maximo, thank you so much for joining. My troops not moving? Nah, whatever. Okay, we're gonna jump on Superpower 2 real quick. I'm gonna compare it real quick on stream, and then we're gonna hop off. <clears throat> so... 11 people. So... We're gonna hop on Superpower 2. I really wanna compare it. We're not gonna stay long. So, Superpower 2. Oh, ah, oh, my game is just all over the place right now. Oh, 
god, I just crashed my entire game. Yeah, let's not do that. Nukes are much too big, I really like super- Yeah, I- I get that. Like... I- I totally get the whole thing. It, it, it was made in Unreal Engine. So... Wow, I have a 2K monitor and Super Power 2 kind of looks like crap. <laughs> Civil War, heavy, heavy RP. Well, I, it, it says that are Civil Wars that can break out. Ah, uh, why is my name Player? Okay, so I need to come over to Superpower. Launcher. Launch one. I don't know if you guys can see this yet. Eh, it's not even showing. Jumping back and forth. I don't know if you guys can see that, no. Oh, there it is. Fuck, I hate that so much. There we go. So I'm going to compare and contrast both of the games right here. Anti-communist union party. Let's go. Face reveal. I've done face reveals. So go over to economy. So there were 22 sectors in Superpower 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there are 22 in Superpower 3. And 27 in Superpower 2. Bruh. And I fucking crashed my game. Trying to... Oh my god. Why'd I... Hide user? You're getting hidden. Sorry, buddy. Well, that sucked. I had to keep exiting out of my game and it crashed it. <laughs> um, I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Do you guys think that they could have done more? Do you think that they should have? Superpower has more tactic look than I... that I like better than Superpower 3. Goofy troll, I know. It's probably one of your guys, Maple. So, I mean, I like it. 
tomorrow is going to be fun because it's going to be full multiplayer. Um, it's going to be a lot of multiplayer tomorrow. I haven't even been able to try multiplayer. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. This has been an amazing stream. So I appreciate everyone that subscribed and joined me today to preview Super Power 3 for the very first time. I've been streaming for almost five hours now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. Um, <clears throat> if I can schedule a multiplayer game tonight, I will play it tonight. Um, so I'll go back on live again. So uh it seemed like during battles, the game was lagging. What do you think? I think I did see a lot of lag here and there. Um, not, not as much. Really? I'll need to take a look at myself tomorrow. It looks nice, but could have some of the same issues with shallowness. Superpower hat, superpower two hat. It's a little, I mean, it's like the economy is a little bit shallow, but there's still a little depth in there, especially with trade deals and, um, and sector views. So there's a little bit more advancement that it, that comes to the economy on its face. It looks kind of shallow. There's a little bit more to it. I really want to get the manual. That way I can see how advanced it is. Um, <clears throat> so I appreciate everyone that joined me today. Guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel um, if you are new. Um, I, 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 I do appreciate you guys joining me today. This has been an amazing stream. The biggest stream that I have ever done in my channel's history we have 3,500 people watch this just in the stream alone. And we had over 300 concurrent viewers at one time, 341 at its max. And then kind of we kind of averaged a little, little over 150, now over 100 right now. It's kind of trickling down now that I'm actually uh, signing off. So, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I will be live again tomorrow with the official release of Super Power 3 multiplayer and everything. So I will see you guys there tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be around in the morning, maybe about noon or something like that. Depends on when someone can get a stream up or a, or a multiplayer game up. So I will see you guys tomorrow. If I can get a multiplayer game going tonight, I will go live again tonight for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Thank you guys for uh gaining me over 100 subscribers in the stream alone and i will see you guys tomorrow